Boom. Welcome to the RTM Podcast Show, Season 2, Episode 12. Done now, Young Spray, Big Bad Spray, here with my co-host. Cream. Hi, everyone. Ice Cream, the poster girl, you already know. Today, special guest, my brother, hey. Mr. Franklin Bolting. I know you've heard about, about a million of them. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Since I've grown up, I've heard about a million Franklin Bolton. But this is the king of trainers. I appreciate you, bro. You get thanks me? This is the king on. of trainers. No, thank you. Thanks for coming, yeah? No, anytime, anytime. Before anything, I just want to thank everyone for the comments. Thanks for rocking with us. I might be talking a bit slow and calm and all that, but understand I stayed up till half six in the morning to watch a big fight, Fury versus Wilder. We'll talk about that later on the current mm-hmm. affairs. So I'm a bit knackered. Um, yeah, but I just want to say thanks for all the comments, all the... Um, man never sent no PayPal. This, Ibrahim, what one? Where's the pound? <laughs> Ibrahim, you get what I'm saying? Uh, you, you, you get me? Big up um, Jordan as well, yeah? Big up Jordan Definitely. for the um, last episode. Mm-hmm. I saw some comments, people had their opinions or whatever, yeah? And I even saw someone went crazy. They was like, oh... Um, what did he say? Brock Lesnar as well, some idiot. He's calling himself Brock Lesnar. But he was like, oh, um, yeah, you need to get back, get big names on on the show. Like, you know, since um, Lippy. Mm. And I'm thinking, uh, do you know who Jordan is? Have exactly. you heard of Riz- yeah. Have you heard of Rizzo Kicks? <laughs> like, do you get what I'm trying to say? But obviously, everyone, big, everyone that answered him. Exactly. You, and, you get what I'm saying? Because you could have just quickly told him, suck his mama, but mm. you just, you made him know. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So, big up Jordan. Big, I yeah, think that was a great up, episode. Definitely. And I just want to take this time to make you know, mm-hmm. if you haven't already noticed, we have different guests on the show and you want to say about our oh, big names big names i'm a fucking big name mm. how about that you get me cream's a fucking big name mm. there's a big name here you can see every two and weeks. we have who we want Do you get what i'm here? trying to say and i i thrive and we thrive sorry mm-hmm. in bringing you different guests exactly. with different stories different perspectives not all the time you need to be hearing oh yeah how I was prison or da 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 da, mm. and even with Jordan, it's still ending up getting to prison because he came and done mentoring with exactly. me. Exactly. Whilst everyone's chatting shit, he's coming and trying to help the um, savages. So big up Jordan and his again. energy was up. He, he had yeah, a lot to know, say. He was and, a good, so um, make, he was a good guest. Check, yeah. check that you out I mean? furthermore yeah. and leave a comment. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for all of that. Thanks for rocking with us um, today. Clearly, you're gonna get a different story mm. from my brother Franklin. Who I'm um, proud of. He's um, really done a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm trying to say mm-hmm. as far as you know, just coming from where we're coming from. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? He could have mm-hmm. taught different roads and mm-hmm. whatnot, whatnot. But um, yeah, we're gonna get into his story. I appreciate Thanks that. for coming, brother. Ah, anytime, man. Thanks you for calling I mean? me. Thanks Definitely. for having me, man. So um, yeah. I know you you watch the show and all that. Mm-hmm. So you know, first of all, I just want them to know about you. Me, got you. Like, you know what I mean? Why you're even on this chair? Yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm trying yeah. to say? Because they might not know. Another thing, yeah. I will never bring someone mm-hmm. to sit there without, and they haven't got anything to, to give. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because my whole thing that. is about, um, you giving know. Giving them their flowers giving, while they're here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and giving, um, what's it called? Giving the youths or something, motivation yeah. to do mm-hmm. certain things. Not You don't just have to be a rapper. Mm-hmm. You don't just have to be a producer. You don't. This is a young black man mm-hmm. that's made his path somewhere else. But mm-hmm. exactly. frankly, yeah. please. Cool. Uh, no, Where thanks. was you born? Yeah, no, thanks, man. Well, I was born in well North London, mm. um, Tottenham. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, born and raised in Tottenham, man. You know, went mm. to, you know, if anyone's from Tottenham, they know when you say the bad school, mm. it's D&K. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who knows D&K. Yeah. So yeah, I went, I mean, Junior school, I was in Seven Sisters Junior School, mm. um, and then from there went to St David St Catharines DNK, mm. which is in, in North London Hornsey. And if you're from North London, you know what that represents. Mm. Uh, you know that that school was a bit a bit mad still. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, from there, you know, school was crazy, man. It was like a, a proper like you had to grow up quick in mm-hmm. DNK. You had to really kind of grow up quick, and um, yeah, from there. What was you like at school? Me, um, to be honest, I was I was I was what you call it in between, you know. Mm-hmm. No one messed with me mm-hmm. because I w- I knew all the bad boys. I grew up with all the bad boys, you know. But I can still kind of, you know, speak to the the people that was not considered cool and or whatever. But at the same time, people knew my thing was like was trying to kind of how do we 
better things all the time. So if someone's doing something over there, I'm like, okay, how can we we create a business out of it? From mm. young, like I was always like, how do we create you had a business? That mindset. Yeah, yeah, how mm. do we yeah. we take this to another level and stuff? So that was always my thing back in the day. So um, in school, like, did you was you interested in business from the gate or yeah, how yeah. was you in school? Like, yeah. what lessons? What what was your favorite lessons? What mm. did yeah. you excel in? Yeah, so for me, it was creative. So it was like um, arts and graphic design and things like that. Mm. Um, you know, so after from from like D and K, I went to Monarchs College, mm. and I went to Monarchs when when all the men went to Monarchs. So mm. so, <laughs> so that was when um, you know when uh, like Taylor and I was just about yeah, to say yeah and, <laughs> um, yeah for word in the yeah yeah so that's the year I, I was I was at Monarchs and I was doing like graphic design there. Mm. Then from there I went to Eastern. I got explored from Monarch still. Yeah, Did I don't. Yeah. Fuck Monarch. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Monarch. I can't even tell you why, but I, I could tell you why mm-hmm. it was alleged. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But mm-hmm. I remember when I went college, for some reason, I thought after you finish school, mm-hmm. college is just up to you. That mm-hmm. like you can just go to college when you want to go to college no. type of thing. There's no... <laughs> do you get what I'm trying to say? So, <laughs> like, it'll be like, yeah, you got to... It starts at half nine. I can't remember, but I'll, cut, I'll rock in at like quarter past ten or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it was like, I think, the third day or something, and then the, the teacher was just said, like, I come, I come in, and then he, he started trying to bad me up, like, Tell the class, sorry, you need to apologise to the class. I'm thinking, hold on, <laughs> hold on a minute. I'm thinking, hold on a minute. Mm. I finished school. Mm. Why yeah, am yeah. I telling the... I'm even looking at the class. I'm saying, do I need to tell you lot sorry? <laughs> I'm even... Do I need to tell you lot sorry? But they're knowing mm. if they say, they know it's OK. They, they're, even, they're even telling sir, it's OK. Yeah, it's we don't okay, need we don't sorry. Need we don't need sorry, sir. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Mom, yeah. I've not said sorry. You get me, I'm out. He's kicked me out. I'm gone. I've gone home. I'm thinking, mm. uh, they're mm. telling me... You can't I've, come back. I can't come back. It's, oh. it's so early, especially finding a new college. Very rare. Man, that's mad. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. What year was that? What year did you go Monarchs? That was... That must have been after I left. Maybe 97. Yeah, 97, you know. Okay. And then, yeah. And then I think... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then someone told me something about that teacher got punched in his face or something. Oh. Someone, <laughs> came, someone came in there, masked up and smacked him in his face or some e that thing, yeah. you get me? A couple of weeks later, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Feds come try, oh, Feds come try and knock up my thing, telling him I'm saying, listen, that's not my thing, you get what I'm saying? I'm not just going to go and punch up a teacher, you so, get what I'm so, saying? <laughs> yeah, my, my so, so, was good, it's funny. So you did, um, what was it, graphics? Yeah, said? yeah, so I've done graphics, art and design and graphics and stuff. Then I went East Ham College, done graphics there, then I went, I went university, Middlesex University, done mm-hmm. graph. yeah, done uh, advertising, digital communication at university. So you had um, a goal in mind. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was always business. Yeah. I, I was always, I was always kind of... you stop moving around so much? Because that, um, whatever top you've got is creasing and making loud noises. And I've, I've noticed it in the other podcasts when you move on that. Continue, my friend. Yeah, nah, so, yeah, my thing was always about business, about yeah. making money. When, because, I mean, but I, you know, I grew up in, in Tottenham when it was mad, yeah. you know, and, um, you know, my mad. school was... Yeah, just, my school was yeah. DK was the... Like the heart of a lot of madness. Mm. So, like, and I knew everyone. That's the thing about me. I was very well connected. Like, mm. I knew everybody. Do you get That's I mean? why I so, wanted you to come on, because yeah. to show that you yeah. can know everybody yeah, and still, and still be, not be like everybody. That's it. But that's what on. it is. That's what it is. So, right. like, I knew everyone, and, and I kind of, that's kind of how I was able to navigate kind of through what I wanted to do. And I didn't have to go down the road of a lot of my friends and things like that. You so I mean? you had on you had your business mind on before all this social media. Yeah, like yeah. Blow up and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, way before social yeah. media. Do you get what, what, I mean? what ethnicity um are you? I'm from Ghana. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, what yeah. What to so. say? Charlie. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> My yeah, mum so just um, recently came back from Ghana. Is it? This is like I think her third time going. Oh yeah, she Ghana's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely, is falling in love yeah. with your country. Yeah, yeah Ghana's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Have you been? I, I haven't. No, no, I want to go though. I need to go. I yeah. got I got a couple of houses out there, so yeah, yeah, my, really? yeah, my good me. friend, my, yeah. you know what I mean. He's moved over there. He went there for like three months last November. Ain't come back. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, come back. Yeah, no, it's definitely the place. Quite a few people are building them. How, yeah, yeah, houses yeah. over yeah, there because I know like, a couple of people. Yeah, I think Lethal B just completed a a coal estate out there. Like, and he's yeah, it's good you can make money out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I had a business in Ghana, but are your parents situated here or are they in Ghana? No, my parents are here. Um, 
Yeah, my parents are here. Uh, my mum goes back and forth. Unfortunately, I lost my dad three weeks ago. Oh, sorry. Yeah, nah, it's okay, it's okay. It's yeah, actually, that no, four, mm-hmm. four weeks ago. Yeah, so you know, so we, so I'm actually going back to Ghana mm-hmm. to bury him for the first time, oh. like in a while, in yeah. a minute. Do you yeah. get what I mean? That's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. You know what I had to do mm-hmm. the same thing. Um, 016. Yeah. When mm-hmm. I'm buried, buried my man. You get me, but. Mm. Man said, my man, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Nah, the other day, because I went out, yeah, mm. and my bridge in the heads, heads, big up heads. Mm. A man said, like, yeah, my man. He's like, yo, not my man, you know? Mm. Say my Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do my man. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, yeah, boom, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah now, so I'm from Ghana, so I mean, you know, like. Did yeah. they play a big part on, on you, like, you know, yeah. taking. Indeed, like indeed. your goals seriously and nah. stuff like that because like, it sounds like you kind of mm. had your head on from quite young so I'm yeah. just like no nah, indeed indeed and I mean you know growing up in Tottenham like yeah. I don't know like like one of my best friends got murdered when mm. I was 15 Danny Danny Westmacott in Edmonton oh, right. Edmonton oh, Edmonton McDonald's and um and that kind of just made me know that where the path I wanted to be mm. like I wasn't really into being like okay I need to be on the roads mm-hmm. even though I knew mm-hmm. all the roads road guys do you know what mm-hmm. I mean and it's like and I think a lot of them respected me because they realised now nah, Frank's like he's, do, he's, he's doing something different do you mm-hmm. know what I mean mm-hmm. you know so my thing was just about look how can we get things better so even mm-hmm. when people were doing things I was like nah come on let's. how do we find a way do yeah. you know what I mean yeah. you know what I'm saying how do we find yeah. a way so that was kind of what what where my head was at. So a lot of your uh, parents give you like a little talk because obviously you're in you're in school when that happened, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, did but, they get a bit fearful for you or anything? No, no yeah, it, a bit, but no, not really. I think they knew that my head was screwed on, mm. you know. But it was it was a crazy time. Mm. Like you know, Wood Green was a war zone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm saying mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. do you get what I mean? You know, this was just at the height of the Hackney Tottenham beef. Mm. Yeah. So you know, and I had a lot of friends in in like. Dalston size, which was not Hackney, Hackney, but mm. the I Hackney mean, still, yeah, still yeah. Hackney. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, and it's mm. just, but I think my my parents knew, like, you know, but they were still like back then. Social media, people hadn't don't understand like social media is, is is put a spotlight on a lot of things that used to happen anyway. Yes. Exactly. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Just we just didn't it. have the 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 same mm. like shareability. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was like it was really just through word of mouth. Mm. Oh, this man's such and such, and then mm. you hear it from someone else, and then mm. all of a sudden you're like, oh no, this is crazy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You know, but I was always about how do we get money? How do we find a way? Do you know what I mean to kind of make things Have different? You got any, um, mm-hmm. siblings? Yeah, yeah, I got one sister. I got one sister here. I got a brother in Ghana, and then um, um, a, sis- uh, a sister who passed away in Ghana as well. Mm. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right, so my sister, you know, shout out Jennifer. She played a big part. You know, she helped with like we've just kind of, you know, seen her work hard and then I was like, boom, how do we kind of, mm. how do I do it? Do you get what I mean? Oh, so, you know, in my household, yeah. uni was the thing. So you had to kind of go uni. Yeah, come and, on. I, and my parents were still cool because once they said, I go uni, mm-hmm. and after that, I can kind of do what I want. Mm. So literally after uni, I, I set up my first business straight wow. after uni, you know, um, and that was a, a company called Yeah. It was like an entertainment company. So it was like a, uh, it was actually a, a work experience help service for mm-hmm. people in the creative field. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, and this was this was all free, mm. all free. Yeah, mm-hmm. set up my first business. Mm-hmm. How did that go? It was okay. It was okay. It kind of went into entertainment. Mm-hmm. So we started to do parties for students and all that sort of stuff. Um, and Sorry, what did you do in uni? I done I done um, visual communication, graphic design, okay, and advertising. So did you get so yeah. you got your degree in that? Yeah, I got my degree. Yeah, I got my degree in in in, in, in that. And I, and that's the good thing about my parents. They were like, once you get a degree, you can kind of do what you want. So they pushed education. Oh definitely. yeah, yeah. You know, African parents yeah, like yeah, they, yeah. you know, it's just it's just what what it was back then. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. once I got my degree, my 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 mom was like, you can kind of just do what you want. And I was always like. And I mean, oh, well done for that. I wish yeah. I, had a, I wish I had a champagne to pop in. Nah, so that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Man. Yeah. You know what it yeah. is? You know what it is? Because we hear a lot of stories about you know, like yeah, when did you go to jail? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 when did you come out of jail? Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. this, that's you see our show. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's just and refreshing yeah, yeah, yeah. Even to have a education. young black man, mm-hmm. young black man from the hood. Mm-hmm. I repeat, mm-hmm. just tell you he went uni. Mm-hmm. So you hear he that? He got his degree. He was around all the bad people. He knows all the bad people in the hood. Yeah. He's had the same opportunities as all the bad people in the hood, mm-hmm. the same disadvantages, the same advantage. Not well, if there's any, but mm-hmm. he's had the same disadvantages as say me, mm-hmm. and he's chosen a different path. path. 
and got his degree. He's not yeah, smarter than me. Yeah. 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 Like, he's smarter than me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it I'm just goes... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you're right. You know, yeah. It's about yeah. mind state yeah. and... Yeah. yeah. And that's what it is. Do you get what I mean? And and at the end of the day, everything's a choice. And, of like, course. you know, at the time that I grew up, there were so many things pulling. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because, like, you know, I remember, like, I was probably the f- one of the first people in Tottenham to get a rest jacket. Mm. Like, do you get what I mean? This mm-hmm. is like 95 or something. Like, this is mm-hmm. mad. And I was young. Mm. Like, and I had an Avery. It's like a 500 pound jacket. Yeah. And it's like those types of things. Were How like, did you pay for it? Huh? Because we paid for ours through crime. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no. How did you no, pay I, for yours? I, I, I worked. I, 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 was doing part, I, was yeah. earning, I was always making money. Mm-hmm. Like, I was always, mm-hmm. do you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, no, I, was, I remember I was just going to college. It was the first year of college. And I was, mm-hmm. and I got my foot, my job. And it was like, it was just like, okay, I need to. You know, and, and the, but the jackets were like, because I was always into fashion. Yeah. That's, you know, we're going to come to the King of Train story, but I was always into fashion. So mm. I remember that jacket, people don't understand, like, people take, like, the young people now have to understand, right, that we put our lives in danger by wearing mm-hmm. certain clothes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because when I had an Averix, that jacket mm-hmm. was. It was like a target. Exactly. Of course it, it was. was like Come a target. On. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just have your yeah. Avex. Yeah. You, you know have your little, you know. your little cheese stuff yeah, as well. Mm-hmm. But even though I, I, I wasn't like street, I could fight. So yeah. I didn't, I could do business. Yourself. Everyone knew me, yeah. so they knew oh, we're not going to mention Frank. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, I could still fight. Mm. So it's like, it's like I just didn't care. But mm. it's like, you go into other ends, oh, he's got Everex and, you know, and then back then you had to have that, what, the 110 trainers and then if you had 110 trainers, you were doing stuff, mm. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was, it was, it was just a different time. So when I see time. all these Great kids, time. yeah, Great when times. I see all these kids now and they got 110 trainers, they got Supreme yeah. and all, yeah. like, they they don't understand how lucky because we had mm-hmm. to go through the fire for that. Yeah. You know what I mean, people yeah. getting their now they could just have it yeah. and just walk about you know normal. Exactly. And normal. Yeah. They don't have to worry about no one yeah. ripping it off. Going their back. to West End was a mission back in the yeah. day. Like mm-hmm. people don't understand. It was yeah, it was mm-hmm. a mission. You go with your man them and mm-hmm. do you get what I mean? And mm-hmm. and it was like a gauntlet. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was a corner. Yeah, it was a corner because mm-hmm. you have South Man yeah. wanting to rob man. Twenty eight in there. You get me? So like, and then you, you know, because I like fashion. It's like you I wear stuff that was targetable. So I had the 110s, I had everything that would make me quote unquote deem as a shot back then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like, so, uh, but I was and always of the. Start, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I had it all. So I was always of the, of the mindset of, okay, boom, like mm-hmm. I'm in this thing, how can I separate and show exa- good examples? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I went to uni, like a lot of my friends didn't go to uni, but. Mm-hmm. They, you know, and, and a lot of them did. You know, mm, I've got mm-hmm. some friends that are kind of like, you know, that proper, you know, mm. on the right path, yeah. you know. So it was just one of those things that it was just, a, a, I just trying to set good, good examples. Yeah. It's, so, it's so good to have you on here and speaking you. about this, you know, because you. Um, you see our last episode, what mm-hmm. we did with Jordan, mm-hmm. yep. it was about education. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the people that we've had on it here, like, didn't really... Rate it. Rate, rate mm. the school system, if you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Yeah. Like, you know, because we've spoken mm-hmm. to like a lot of creatives. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like we, I don't want to paint like a bad picture, like mm-hmm. you can't do what you're doing through education. Mm. You're like a perfect example mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. if you've got that mindset and you've got a goal and you yeah. are academic, yeah. that you can actually, Indeed. do you know what I mean? Do yeah. the steps. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to be a nerd. You don't have to be. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I was never that. No, I was, do you know I'm not what that I mean? Do you get me? It's just that, but you know what it is? Sometimes society puts these pictures. Yeah. Of, oh, you have to. If you're, if, if you're, you're like doing this, that, you're yeah, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah. you know, and it's funny because with my my king of trainers thing, mm. it's like I put up pictures and people are like, right, Frank, you had this and that, and like you were, do you know what I mean? Mm. And mm-hmm. people, they just conf- it's like they can't picture the two, mm. and I'm like, nah, I was, I was, I'm, I'm in the streets, but mm. I didn't have to do that. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I was I was cool and and sometimes it's just good to show that example yes. that we don't always have to kind of go down that path. Mm-hmm. You know, and not saying that path is 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 a bad path. It's just sometimes the path that is is necessary for a certain time. Mm-hmm. You see mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. The main mm-hmm. subject mm-hmm. today what we're going to be talking mm-hmm. about later is like change, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. change, changes yeah. in life and yeah. Yeah, like the maddest thing is sometimes situations force you to change as well. Mm-hmm. So, indeed. Mm-hmm. Indeed. You know, so. Indeed. Yeah, we'll get into that. No, for sure, for mm. sure. So, like, I mean, just to kind of mention the whole King of Trainers thing. Mm-hmm. So, in school, my nickname was King of Trainers. Right. People don't know, like, we're talking, like, early 80s. So, mm. 
my mum loved tennis, right? And she loved Boris Becker. Mm -hmm. Like, and Boris Becker, he won his first championship. He was on. In, in 85. Right. You know what I'm saying? The kids might not know this. Like, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. he won his, and people don't understand, tennis back then was the premier sport. Mm -hmm. You know, before football. Peace and press and Yeah, it was Monday. a premier sport. So when brands and stuff want to break like creative like designs, they'll go to tennis players. Mm. So you had you, people don't understand like Stan Smith was yeah. a bigger celebrity than Michael Jordan. People, people can't comprehend that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Stan Smith at the time was a bigger celebrity than Michael Jordan. But people were like, right, Jordan's massive now. But mm. back then it was Stan, it was like tennis and yes. you know. Mm. So my mum, she loved tennis and she'll be like, she loved Boris Becker. So Boris Becker at the time, like 85, he had like a a jewel deal where he had an Aless, an Aless clothing deal and a Puma foot deal. Mm. So he, when he won his championship, he was actually wearing this top, this particular top, like top? a retro top. Yeah, like right. re no, this a retro. Mm -hmm. But I was wearing this top, and he, um, he had a like a, a gold kind of thing. So I actually, I'll get to that. I designed some trainers based on on his on his design oh, with a Aless. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of how how that happened. But in school times, my mum would buy me like all the latest crap because what tennis players wore. Because as a, a big African up parent, mommy. yeah, no, <laughs> big I, up I, I bring my mum because yeah. as an African parent, mm -hmm. she just wants to buy me quality, right. so that it's not she's not having to buy so many and yeah. you know. So she yeah. will spend once a year. You, you get your crap once a year, so you'll spend forty pound on one crap and one shoe, and that should last you for the whole year. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's how it used to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll go to Tense. after summer after summer Tense. holidays. I'll go to school with the a best, and the people are like, rah, that's a, a name brand crap. Mm. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, young people are today, they're so fortunate. Yeah. Mm. They, they didn't have to go through, through none of that. None of that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, my nickname in school was King of Trainers. Mm. So, throughout every, every, in school, the kids would come up to, rah, what's, what's Franklin wearing? And then, secondary school, it was, you know, so, like, my whole King of Trainers brand was stemmed off the nickname. Mm. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then fast forward, um, you know, when I finished uni, I had I had a, a entertainment business, then I had a installation company. Mm. I, I had um, I installed multi gyms. <laughs> it's I mad. Totally and, um, it's mad, yeah, it's mad, it's <laughs> mad, it's mm. mad. Because mm. while I was in uni, I was working part time for um a fitness store, mm -hmm. right? So this particular fitness store, they're called Body Active. So they also like creating weight gain and all that sort of stuff. Like mm. So I was the mail order manager, like at like 18, 19, I had my own office, I was doing mm. the mail order and stuff, because I knew about mm -hmm. like the technologies and stuff at that time. Mm. So I got the job, boom, mail order manager. So as things were progressing, they got taken over by another company called um, Powerhouse Fitness. And they were like, oh, we we're going to do the mail order from Scotland. They were like a Scottish business. So mm. I was like, okay, right, how can I set up something? They were like, but we need someone to do the installations or the, the gyms in London. Mm -hmm. So I set up a business to facilitate that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I mean, at one stage, because it's a family business, I don't want to, you know, for tax reasons, I was making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> at that young age. Then um, they must have... Imagine being a family business and like in a family business, you're like one of the highest paid person. And I'm a black boy. And yeah. I want to be honest, I'm a black boy in a Scottish family business company. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I had my own van. I was making, they'll pay me this left, right, and center. And they, you know, they found a way so not yeah, to. They looked after so when the credit crunch happened, like I lost that contract. I tried to set up a business in Ghana. You know, I had a little bus company in Ghana, had all these different businesses. Money. And yeah, yeah. And I bought property young as well. Do you get what I mean? So. I was an entrepreneur from, young yeah, as well. I was an entrepreneur from young, but then, right. you know, I'm going to give people the real, sometimes when you're juggling all that and you're young, mm -hmm. you know, I had like, when I was 20, by, by 26, I had probably a million in property. Really? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, I had about three to four properties, four or five properties. You know, I remember you, know you did the yeah. thing Yeah, home, yeah, still. so mm -hmm. it's like, so for me, it was, but then, when credit, when the whole two thousand eight credit crunch, two thousand nine credit crunch happened, mm -hmm. I was paying all these mortgages, mm. and I and I just couldn't. I was just couldn't keep up. Keep, with couldn't it. keep up because my tenants, at, you know, I got a place in South End, mm. and my tenants weren't paying their. their you know what I'm saying? Mm. Then I just I just took it hiatus. From, yeah, I mm. took hiatus from work. Wrote to all my creditors and said, "Look, this is what's happened." Boom, boom. And I, at that time, it was a credit crunch, so people knew what was going on. Do you mm. get what I mean? Yeah. And then, from there, I set up um, a website called Fab's Network. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You actually follow me on that on Twitter. Yes, Fabs that's Network. right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's me. Fabs okay. Network. Yeah, yeah, right. on Twitter. So, yes, um, so I set up a social network mm-hmm. before Instagram. Worked. So this is 2010. I set mm-hmm. up a social social network, and um, that social network was like imagine Instagram like on a laptop. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you knew what you did yeah, from, back, from then. Then. back then. I had lots of followers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like and it was I was I think I was moving that site. Like I was I was giving the news and I had all these different things going on. Yeah. Then it got hacked. Oh no. It got hacked in like so crazy. And I was just really Yeah and I was chucking money at it and it just wasn't working. Oh, so no. I just came off that. Yeah. Then that's when I that's when on Twitter I started to build like social media courses on Twitter and and start teaching people. Then on Twitter, I became like what you call a twogger, which is a Twitter blogger. Mm. So I used to get paid to go to events and tweet. Yeah, back oh, in them okay. days. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to get paid to go to events and tweet back in them days. Um, so this was about 2011, 2012. Then on the Fabs Network um, website, I had the King of Trains forum. Mm. So I registered the, the Twitter. And this is where the whole story with, with JD Sports and stuff yeah. gets crazy. So I registered the Twitter. Mm. So then what happened was, by me resting on Twitter, one of my friends, shout out Dale, he said, um, Nike on Just Do It, and that's impossible nothing. Why doesn't JD Sports, because JD Sports used to use King of Trainers in the 90s, right? Mm-hmm. So why doesn't JD Sports speak to the real King of Trainers? And then the person who ran the Twitter account at the time was like, who's this imposter? Mm. Yeah. What people don't but know is they used to use it in the 90s as a tagline for their shop. Yeah. Mm. But then they stopped it around 2003. They, they kind of stopped using it as much mm-hmm. and they went with best of the best. So it changed from the blue bags to the, 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 the yellow and black bags. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean, if everyone knows JD, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So around 2011, when they found out the Twitter and social media, because it was new, like people, you know, you had Facebook and MySpace and all that, but the, the whole Twitter and Instagram game was new. Mm. So I had the Twitter, and I only had the Twitter because of my Fabs Network website. So I, I had a forum on there where I'd just be tweeting about news, about sneaker news and stuff like that. Do you get mm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So so they then attacked me on Twitter when mm-hmm. my friend said that, yeah, and said, look, who's this imposter? Why are you an imposter? Yeah. You get off, you know, you're using our name, all this mm. sort of stuff. That's when you got hacked. Nah, well, it was Did around you get that time. Before or after? I, it was after. It was mm. after that time. Mm. So then, mm. so then, you see what on, yeah. So we had that exchange. So imagine they're exchanging with me on Twitter. Boom, boom. Two weeks later, I get a cease and desist, mm. a legal cease and desist from um, from uh, their lawyers. They trademarked the name, saying that yeah, like this is this is what we've done. It's a trademark. Yeah, boom, they trademarked. So, but How comes you got a blue tick on the King of Trainers on Instagram though? I yeah. haven't got a blue tick yet. I haven't got a blue tick yet, but I'll explain that. I'll explain oh. that. I'll explain that. So, what happened is on the Twitter now, on the tw- they, like, so they, they had a Twitter exchange. Mm. Two weeks later, they said they sent a legal cease and assist. Mm. And that was like, so it was like, oh man, like, what's going on here? And mm. they were a bit devious with the cease and assist because they went deep. Mm. They found out that a couple of things I had and they were going to sue me and all this sort of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So, with trademark law, there's so many great areas, right? Mm. So, you're young spray. Mm. So, if there's another young spray somewhere in the world, they can't just come and say you can't use it because you've got a, you've got a, a, over a seven year association with that name, yeah, right? Yeah, so, there's different yeah. IPs and it's got history you've got with history that with name. it. Yes, you know what I mean? Basically. So, like, you can't just come and tell me I can't use something if I've got history with it. You know, mm. you have to come and it has to be beyond reasonable doubt that I'm using my name to pass off as JD Sports, right? right. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I must have wrote to lawyers because I'm, I'm look I'm from the hood I'm from Tottenham but them big heads bully. they find loads of little yeah. loopholes that they can get around that's and stuff, what I'm saying it? and I'm not look, I'm from Tottenham I'm not looking to be bullied by anyone mm. Mm. so I'm looking at it like cool you, you want to take me to court let's work together mm. that's how I am I'm an, I'm an opportunist if something happens I'm going to try to find a way to, to make money out of it mm. Mm. let's work together then their lawyer's like, no, our client doesn't, doesn't, doesn't want to work with you. <laughs> like, you know, you're an imposter. Like, this guy is like, crazy. <laughs> so people are like, so, and this is, remember, this, I'm at, this is before Twi- Instagram and Twitter was around, but it was before that. Yeah, yeah. So you could just pull it up and go yeah, crazy. Yeah. So this was around 2011, and this is where the story gets interesting. So they said, okay, we're going to give you seven days to comply, right? Mm. So I learned everything that is to know about trademark law, right? Mm. And and I saw like loopholes and gray areas and stuff. Mm-hmm. So then their lawyer, their lawyer called me back. No, sorry, I called their, <coughs> I called their lawyer. Sorry, I was holding that for so yeah, long. Yeah, so my D looks went so it's crazy. It's all good. It's all good. You get me? I, I so, put it out. It's all good. So mm. all good. 
Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So, so, so you studied it yourself? Yeah, you? yeah. I just, I just, I just, I just went through books. When yeah, I was like, yeah, I was yeah. like, because I'm gonna, if you're gonna take, if you're gonna fight me when it comes to the court thing, especially yeah. when it comes to Starting, literature, you know, you're right. I have to, I have to educate myself. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean? bear in mind you're yeah. coming from a from a background where mm-hmm. you, know, you get what yeah. I'm saying. Your education is on point. Do you know what I'm saying? So, your, your, you this know is what I'm mean? saying. Your level of think, intelligence. And I think sometimes what happens is big companies just want to do that to people like us mm. where they're just like nah you can't and they're just trying exactly. to slap us down and yeah. mm-hmm. get me and I, yeah. I just wasn't I'm like I'm not, I'm not going to have this so mm. I just said look you know what let me learn everything I, I can find out and then I found a little bit of loopholes then I, I called up their lawyer I was a female lawyer on the phone I said hi it's King of Trainers she's <laughs> like you can't say this yeah you know what I mean and, and then, and then she's, she, she's like oh like you know so I said yes I can then I'm starting kind mm. of explaining laws mm. to her and stuff and I think they just thought oh he's just some boy from North London he's just gonna give back the names and then it's gonna go away so then she's like oh then it turned from first it's like attack mm. then it's like she turned from attack to concern because she knew I wasn't I wasn't budging yeah. yeah so she's like oh but I understand that this company they're a massive company and what people don't know in terms of it's like the JD own everything mm. Mm. they're like a billion like three billion a year company like you can't Mm. Battle them. They yeah, own yeah. size. They own football. Yeah, they had you. Mm. They own. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they own you. so many allegedly. companies, and they own companies. Not even allegedly. And they oh, own I'm companies that. that they sell within them. So you can't really battle battle them like that. So what I did then is I spoke to the lawyers, and the lawyers asking me like, "So, like, what, what do you want to do?" And I said, "Okay, let's go to court." Mm. That's not what they were expecting, because they're thinking that someone's gonna roll over. Mm-mm. So I said, yeah. "Let's go to court." And she's like, "What? What, what do you mean, like?" People don't go to court with these companies. You, you can't, financially, you just can't win. Mm, mm, mm. Do you get what I mean? But I was willing to go to court. I said, yeah. like, let's go in it. Yeah. Then she's like, oh, um, okay. So who's your legal counsel? Who's going to send the... <laughs> Mind so it, yeah. Mind so who's going to send the... Did I get you shook? Yeah, who's going to send the, the paperwork to? You know, like, they have to send the paperwork. Mm-hmm. And I said, I said, like, send it to me. Yeah. I'll take my own case. Thank you very much. She couldn't, like, she was on the phone, like, are you, like, because people don't do that. Do you get what I mean? It's not like, it's not known for someone to just be like, no, I'm not giving in. So literally she said, okay, well, I'll, I'll get back to you, boom, boom, boom. About two to three months later, I'm waiting, because I'm ready to go to court. I'm, <laughs> I'm preparing to just go in front of the judge and be like, look, yeah. this, is the, this is the truth, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, <laughs> and uh, about a couple, coming up to probably the fourth month, I get a letter saying, you know, this, this. First it was like, Dear sirs, and then all this like bad mm. talk. Then it was like, dear Mr. Boateng, actually, yeah. our client, our client no longer wants to do this. You know, mm. what people don't know at the time. Did right? you think that they didn't want the publicity around it? Or? Well, I don't, I don't know. I think obviously they've realised. What well, boy? If this guy wins, yeah. it could be a problem. Yeah. But what people don't know is at the time they relaunched their campaign. There's only one king of trainers. And they relaunched it in Tottenham <laughs> on the side of the Tottenham JD. There's, so if people don't know, people don't know, when you go past the Tottenham JD, mm. yeah. Tottenham Hell JD, yeah. it's got a big, in gold writing, there's only one king of trainers on the yeah. side of the yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. You're on the side of the building. Yeah. And then they relaunched it then. Mm. So when you go to JD Sports, you, you see undisputed king of trainers, undefeated king of trainers. Mm. That's about what they went through with me. Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. had to... They're they just giving this. you little digs. And yeah. they put it in your ends. You know what I'm saying? Put it right in yeah. your yeah, ends I mean, as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, and that's what people don't know. So, so mm-hmm. then, so that, that happened. And then, like, I just said, you know what? I'm going to really take to Instagram and grow this brand. Mm-hmm. So, I kind of left Twitter a bit. So, I wasn't as active as I with my Fabs Network. And I said, look, let me jump on Instagram and grow this brand. And I grew, and I just started to post up crap, old pictures and all that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. And grew the brand. I think I was the first sneakerhead in the UK to get over 100,000 followers. Mm. Um, and I just grew the, kept on growing the brand, growing the yeah. brand, growing the brand. And God being so good, like, come free circle, full, um, full circle, mm. last year during lockdown, JD Sports, I, I done two campaigns with them. Quite. And got paid. Yeah, That's big. Yeah, yeah, see yeah. how it is. You know see that? Do you know what I mean? So I stood my yeah. ground. And I, I, yeah. I mean, obviously the old just thinking look he's built up 100,000 followers yeah. this is what I'm saying yeah. you know and, and I sorry think, to go back yeah. just a little no, touch good, you good, know like good. after they posted it and stuff yeah, and then yeah. they said like Mr. Botang like yeah. they, so what how did you lot come to a resolve in before no, they so, ended up doing um, yeah, a campaign no, so, with so them yeah no so literally so okay so literally what happened was when they sent me that letter they, yeah. they said we're no longer going to pursue this matter right. okay. so, so basically the way it's stood like within the legal hemisphere is they're a shop 
JD, um, JD Sports King of Trainers, right? Yeah. The King of Trainers is their tagline. Right. Like, and it wasn't it wasn't a tagline that they used like to prominence, like to prominence at the time. It was just like, oh yeah, we're the King of Trainers, like a, a, a thing. So if I set up a shop called King of Trainers, then it's a problem. Do you get mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I'm an individual. As I'm a person, do you know what I'm saying? I'm the king of trainers. No one can tell me I'm I'm not. Like you can say mm. you're the king of rap, or, do you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and that's what, what it is. Do you know what right. I mean? And that's right. that's what you are. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So you can't they can't really that's 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 how how it stood. Mm. So what I then did, I mean, we we didn't communicate. I mean, apart from that at the time, then what I then did was just build up what I was doing in the footwear world, like doing helping brands and, and doing so many things, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I just kinda just just Grind, grinding, 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 and got to the point where I'm consult. I'm working with like all the brands that you grew up with, mm. with Nike, with Adidas. I work with all of them, That's and um, and then you know they 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 said look, like they just hit me up. One of their PR girls or that like, their, their marketing girls hit me up. And was like oh. Yeah. You know, we've got this campaign, we want to have you... And I was like, rah. But by then, I realised that was a 10... That's a 10-year period. Mm. So the, the guards have changed. Um, you know, the guards have changed mm. and, and things have, uh, have, have happened. So, you know, by, by then, it's like... It's a different, it's a different thing, mm. you know. And it's a different way of doing it now, we're like with the socials yeah, and how yeah. 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 But that's really good though mm-hmm. that you're working with them and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, at so least they can recognise, you know. That's it. That's do you know it. what I mean? Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's it, that's but, it. What is, see, yeah. see the whole um King of Trainers, the Instagram, yeah, follow that as yeah. well. Yes. Thank you. Thank but, you. Um, mm-hmm. what's that about? Like what do you what, what Well, yeah, so that is is it's it's a blog. So it started off as as a as a blog and a, a website. Like it was like mm-hmm. a so and then I turned it from that into like a, a, a it, like a personality, mm. do you right. know what I mean? So what I did, I would, because you know I'm a lot older than a lot of the the, the, the kids in the sneaker scene right now, mm. right? Mm. So what I realize is I'm a, as an older person, I'm seeing all these kids, and I know that these kids are running after the crap that man had 20 years ago. I was going to say, they appreciate old school stuff. Like when we was young, we wanted new stuff that was out. That's what I'm saying. Like even my son and that, Mm -hmm. the way they saw art, they they, would go on to get like the The old old stuff. stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, how can I create something Mm. to show these kids that I had the old stuff? Mm. So what I did, I said, okay, let me do this King of Trainers thing on Instagram, you know, because it was always a local, local nickname. If you, if you, in Tottenham and, you, and people who know me they're like nah Frank's the king I had, I had, a, I had a, um, a footwear studio in Wood Green mm. and um, and and uh, Mark Ousu used to bring Chipmunk and that to get crap mm. to, from, from me you know mm-hmm. um, and BW and Marvel and mm-hmm. SDW they, they come and get crap from my studio in Wood Green in Chocolate Factory and it's like so I've always had that foundation in the footwear world do you get what I mean so it's always mm-hmm. a local thing oh come go and see Frank blah 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 but then when it came to social media, like you're speaking to a bunch of people who don't know you. So I just started to post up like old school pictures and and just like all these new releases and just do it, do a blog, kind of my opinions yeah. on things and all that sort of stuff. Mm. And it started going crazy. It's gathered a lot of yeah, interaction. Yeah, it started going crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I and I I, I teach social media, so I kind of use that as like a, a platform of what I can do. And then I have a brand store in it and like I consult for brands and do, do all that sort of stuff. Yeah, now. no, it's yeah. a big industry, the yeah. trainers yeah. thing. Yeah, it's yeah. A big yeah. industry. So, so you have that and, yeah. you sh- and you're a consultant as well? Yes, correct, yeah. Right, correct, okay. Correct, yeah, correct. so tell the people them everything. You <laughs> need to know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so yeah. I mean, yeah, so when it comes to like branding and social media and things yeah. like that, like I, I, I used to teach that, you know, in the Fabs Network days because what I did is I, I set up my own social network right. and I saw how to grow brands and it's all self-taught because I studied graphic design and, and, and visual communication design and stuff then I mm. went into installation business and all these different other businesses mm. then I came back to kind of the digital space mm. and I was like you know what this is gonna be the new way of communication and this was 10 years ago no. do you know what I mean job. this was 10 years mm. ago do you know what I'm saying like no. it's funny because when I was coming here I was like oh, me and you follow each other yeah. you follow, I mean yeah. I'm, not too, I'm not on Fab's network anymore, but you follow yeah. each other yeah. and um if you check your if you check your DM from Fab's network right Fab's network right now yeah, yeah. you will see you asked me because I was doing a I was doing a a, a seminar 
for yeah. um, training. And you DM me, was like, oh, I need to get a link to the seminar and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, I got so you imagine like, yeah. that? I should have yeah. come. No, it's Maybe fine. I'd have had more it's following. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I, I saw the date, and that was 2012. Wow. Yeah, that was 2012. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Imagine I, that. I, I looked at it just before I came. Just before See? I came, I was like, yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 2012. And that, yeah. that's just it's evident to show how long I've been doing it. Do you get what I mean? And me. Do you know what I'm saying? And you, yeah, and you, yeah, exactly. Do you get what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. and and that's what that's what I was that's what I, I was trying to do. And I, and I like everything that's happening now in the social media world, mm. like from podcasting to all these different things. I'm not saying I predicted it, but I kind of knew. Saw it coming. I yeah, knew you that saw it. this is the new way of communication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No matter how old we, we, we're going to get, we can't lose touch with mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. So what we're doing right now, I'm telling you, bro, like, even though you invited me, I have to give you guys your, your roses too mm-hmm. because you guys have jumped in a space thank that you, is the future. You. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think you understand how important it is for, mm-hmm. for our people to have a voice the way yeah. you are doing it. You mm-hmm. get what I mean? So I just want to applaud you on that as well. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and this one. is the way we're going to communicate going yeah. forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Because yeah. that's 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 mm-hmm. our whole intention. Really, yeah. even from the start, we said mm-hmm. like Definitely. we ain't really got no one to talk for what we want. We want to talk for that's what I'm trying to say saying. type of thing. Yeah, you got all the other people or whatever podcasts or whatever, mm-hmm. but that's just um, not what my thing is. When they about. don't give you a seat at the table, you make your own table. You have to make your own table. You know, then one and that's, that's literally what I did. Yeah, do you get what I mean? And that's what you guys are doing. And that's what in the in the whole photo world because. When it comes to to street culture, right? Mm-hmm. If you type in street culture in the, in Google right now, mm-hmm. it'll come up with a bunch of white faces. Not saying mm-hmm. they weren't a part of it, mm-hmm. but back then, black people ran street culture. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You were like the rude boys. Mm-hmm. You you like it was. You see them. They mm-hmm. had the latest stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. who, that's, who, that's who people and used to work off the Monday. Yeah, exactly. Do you see what I'm trying you to say? Oh, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then I realized. What our mistake was back in, back then, yeah, mm. is we didn't elevate to document our exactly. stuff. Exactly. Mm. So it's not documented. It's, it's not documented. So exactly. now you can just say what happened. Yeah, exactly. And, and, yeah, and if we're not able to be here to tell you what really happened, mm. this is you're going to believe yeah, and they, that happened. And, and I you find that they create... Mm. people yes. to speak for that culture. That's what I'm saying. Do you understand? Yeah. Instead of going to the actual real people yeah. that actually... Lifting. Know, basically. Yeah, lifting. Do you know what I mean? You, know I mean? Even, you got people like... Big up Skinny Man. Mm. Yeah, Skinny Man. Oh, like, yeah. You know, yeah. like... Come on, man. Like, mm. You know, like, you got platforms. Like, how come mm. you ain't gone yeah. for Skinny Man? Like, yeah. That guy's a legend. That's mm. what I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying? He said it was him that discovered Estelle, innit? Yeah, kind of. I think he was, but I can't remember yeah. exactly. I'm just saying, I don't know, like, like, yeah. They don't really. Mm. They need we've, to, got, we've got people here that you need to shine light on and let people is, understand that it didn't just start yeah, at a certain as, place. No, it didn't. It started before that. This is what know? I'm saying. And that's what and, every and, now and again we try and you know, do. And, and I don't, you know, and I, and what it is, that, like, it's, there's a saying that the people who win the war always tell the story, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's you what I mean. So his what, story, it's not his history, history, it's his, his story. story. So, mm. so what I kind of was doing with the King of Trainers page mm. is I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to alienate no one. I'm mm. inclusive mm. from every background, whatever. Mm. But I was just trying to show that I'm the king. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, not saying that no one else is the king, mm. but this is what 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 we done. So yeah. I post up pictures of like the mandem, mm. one you know like you know all the mandem that's got the crepe like from you know, and then people be like, whoa, you. Mm. You guys were wearing this, yeah. in, and I was like, "Yeah, this is actually what we were wearing." Mm. I don't Do you think I mean? there's enough respect shown to the no. people that did the heavy lifting. No, not at all. Do you know what I not mean? Not at all. And you know why that is, and it's because we didn't go into the boardrooms. You mm. know? Do you get? What I mean, I remember like in 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 Turnpike Lane, one of the first independent sneaker shops that used to have imports was owned by a black man, mm. Mm. and it was called F. It was called F and F. It was the Black Brothers F and F. And then they hype, and they were like across the road from each other, and they used to bring the imports in. Yeah, mm. And we're talking, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, and it's like, people need to know that type of history. So, what I was like, I was like, look, I'm gonna be that beacon mm. that when it comes to this street culture, the brands can look, because when they're looking now, it's all like, who's numbers and mm-hmm. who's this, and that's all they're looking at. Mm. But then, when but then they'll look at our numbers. It's cool, but I don't always. I, say, I don't care about numbers. Instagram mm. algorithms match up anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when they actually scroll my page and they see, nah, this kid, I can throw up pictures from 30 years ago of me wearing Pumas. I can throw up pictures of me wearing Nike's Avery. So I can. So you know what I'm saying. Mm. So now when they're looking at right, who's the who's the authentic one that mm. actually lived this life? 
they have someone at point of call. Mm. And that's all I was trying to do. Mm. And I, f- I faced racism because of it. Mm. I fa- do you know what I'm saying? Because people would just think, oh, why is he calling himself the king and all that sort of stuff? Not knowing that it's a natural nickname. Do you get mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was just trying to give people that inspiration, yeah. you know, and just kind of... So with this, it's all about the technology because if we was able to... Yeah. You know, like, just capture... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I, like and the everything. thing about you know what it is, we're still we're still able been, to do so. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. that we need to just do it more, mm. you know, and more of us. Mm. Like come how we're coming together like this, tell more stories, tell more things that's happened. Do you get what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, mm-hmm. and and just keep on plummeting the internet because mm. soon the internet is going to be be whitewashed with stuff that is not authentic mm-hmm. and exactly. not true. Do you get what I mean? There's already fake it's all, news. It's already exactly. fake news. All, all That's what I'm saying. Place. It's exactly. already fake news. But the people who lived it and and actually went through it, mm. if they're not present mm. to to put stuff out, then what's gonna happen? Mm. Do you get what I mean? It's a yeah. bit like you know, you know. God bless my dad. He passed away, right? Mm. Mm. And I said to myself, you know what? For all black people, we're doing ourselves a big injustice, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. Because in every black person's house. There's about a mountain full of of, of four albums yeah. collecting mm. dust, right? Mm. Why aren't we scanning those and putting them on the internet? Yeah. Mm. Just putting it out to mm. people because but people love that nostalgic yeah, feeling. That's you know? what it is. Because now my, my my I've got a son. He's six. He's gonna be mm. seven on Monday. Mm. Now his kids, when they're googling their great granddad or the granddad, mm. they're not gonna f- see nothing. So mm-hmm. we need to to be doing this on a scale where nah. I'm just put up. I'm gonna put do a site and put up all the, mm-hmm. you know, the whole parties and all that mm-hmm. sort of stuff to show, the, you know, what's yeah. what's what, what it's about. So it's it's about building legacy. Mm. You get what I mean? You know. I remember, and I used to take pictures before Instagram and Way everything. Be- I always used to be. I used to love selfies before there were selfies, before and my selfies. friends used to laugh at me. You know, yeah. like, actually, you're always taking yeah. pictures, but. I just like to look at, like, mem- I like to memory. capture memories. This is what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? This is what I'm saying. And but all of that, selfies and influence and stuff, that was us. Mm. That yeah, was yeah. us. Mm-hmm. The kind of, I, I yeah, think I'm a bit too old because the kind of, kind of cameras I remember, I don't know how you're going to do a selfie. Oh, no, no, but you can no, tell you, know, you, know, like, you, you had a square, you had a square yeah, one. I, listen, oh, I, I used to find ways, I used to always make people take pictures of me. I always used to like to take pictures. I'm pissed I'm thinking, raw, like, imagine, like, man never used to take no pictures. You see? like, man ain't even got nothing to show, so much heaviness. You know what I'm saying? Because back in the day, when we used to go to family's houses and family friends, part of the evening, was going through the photo album. That's it. Do you remember that? Everyone remember used that? to sit down and go That's through the photo I mean. album. Yeah. And, and I got at... a friend called Lorna mm-hmm. and um she she had like these massive amazing like photo albums that mm-hmm. she literally took a picture from school, school days with their order. friends or through college yeah. on their jobs. And literally, you could mm-hmm. just sit there and go through her albums. Like there was so much to look at. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. And that's but this is what I'm trying to say. Like all of that there, mm. it needs to be scanned and put online. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Because they're gathering dust in our in our parents' house somewhere, mm. and and then it's just being lost. Do you get what mm. I mean? Yeah. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna be doing something soon where I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get cultivate all of that. Yeah, that's you what I was mean? gonna say to you. Like, what are you Make doing sure you now? trademark like, everything yeah. and everything. Yeah, know, trust tell, me. They'll tell the people. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 so Come I'm wearing um, these trainers, right? Mm-hmm. So they're, a, they're less, yeah, they're less trainers. Mm, different colour. They match, yeah, they match one. So is it a less or a lessy? Have it's I actually been a saying less. it wrong? Yes, so everyone's been saying it wrong all yeah, everyone, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Salvador, Leonardo. Yeah. Um, it's a Leonardo, Salv, Salv, Leonardo, Salv, I forgot the, the uh, sorry, I need to say his surname, the guy who started LS. Yeah. So it was like, it was like, it was like Eminem, in it? He, mm-hmm. he spread out the name. So it's, mm-hmm. L, it's actually LS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, so what I'm doing now is I've got collaboration with, with LS. Mm-hmm. The first black man to get um a, a, my own footwear with oh, them wow. so um that's going to be coming out um next june it was so. supposed to you know covid and all that it was yeah. supposed to come out from before so i guess yeah. me and oh, that's hard get, but make cream, sure the people again though those are sick i guess me and cream's gonna be yeah yeah no don't worry we're gonna work it out we're gonna work it out 100 percent you got pick up Haddon. Haddon pr as well mark Haddon. this is this is a hyperficial thing i got off um Mark Haddon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Mark. Shout out Mark. Shout out Mark still. 
You get looking, me? Guy. Come on, Star Wars team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I'm guy. saying Princess Leia, yeah. yeah she's yeah. hyper fish. I see Lippy's got to deal with them now as well. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, that's dope. That's yeah, dope. That's dope. dope. Yeah, that's yeah. Dope. yeah. So, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, no, man. Um, that's that's sick, know. man. But thank you. Thank you, man. Because you see what? That's why that's why I wanted to bring him. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a whole different aspect. Do you get what I'm saying, fam? Just so they know, man's from where man's from. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's not no. Mm. Man's from over there yeah. or somewhere mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. He's not from nowhere nice. Do you get me? So, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted them to know. Do you get what I'm saying? Thank like, you. We man. speak on the phone. Yeah, so yeah. No, no, I appreciate I that. I always man. wanted you to come nah, and just let them know. I appreciate know. that. I appreciate that. And that's, that's what I'm trying to say. And that's 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 literally what it is because mm. at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do, you know, now like what I'm also doing now is I've I've um, invested in a. a, a a CBD franchise with with Retch Retch V two. Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got we've got um, uh, a company called Green Machine, um, myself, um, and a few other of Shaman other Shaman Shaman Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, and so a few where is that? Friends. So we've got um. So the one we we our ones that um is the Shoreditch one, mm-hmm. um, Box Box Shoreditch. Mm-hmm. That's a unit nine. Yeah, yeah, unit nine Box Box Shoreditch. So it's Green Machine there, mm-hmm. but we um you know we're 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 helping out the, the like the like the major company. So we've got we're the biggest CBD chain in the UK. So wow. we got one in like Cheson, Cheson up here. Angel, Cheson yeah. Mm-hmm. Angel, um uh Greenwich, uh we're opening one in uh Tom in Crouch End, mm. you know, and mm. a few others others around, you know. So we're trying to get the health C B D going That's and, and educate people on on a, a healthy alternative. That's good. You know, That's so good. Yeah. And you know what was really inspiring as well? Like throughout your story, I've heard you said that you've had multiple businesses. Yes. And it's yeah. also just yeah. show as well, like don't ever stop, keep no, going because no. mm-hmm. sometimes you go through things and they're put in place as lessons and trial and error mm-hmm. so that you can take those things moving forward of what not to do and what to do. Mm-hmm. Don't you agree? No, I agree 100%. Yeah. No, 100%. And, and that's what it is. Like I've always been like relentless in my hustle. Mm-hmm. Relentless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? Like when people say I can't do it, it's like I remember when I was jumping on and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this King of Trainers thing and I'm gonna mm-hmm. push it forward. Like it's all self finance and I and I wrote to every company. Like I've got, I wrote to like Adidas, I wrote to this company, and that company. I was like, ah, oh, like can I, you know? Because I'm still sometimes, even though I'm seasoned in business, when you jump into another industry, you have to play the game. Mm-hmm. So you're thinking that like, I need to connect with these people and all that, but you sometimes. It's foresight. You can't always sh- tell people what you're going to do. You've got to show them. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So I had to I literally just show people, look, this is what I'm going to do in this scene. And I just I just started to go crazy, like yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. You know, I remember one time I was posting 20 pictures a day. I remember I posted 20 pictures a day for three years straight mm. before the first company really got in contact and wanted to mess with me. And that was Deodora. Mm. Really? Yeah, that was Deodora. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And then so engagement is really important then. Indeed, indeed. Mm. I mean, especially with Instagram, mm. especially with Instagram. It's right. turned from a picture platform into a multimedia platform. Do you get what I mean? So, mm. on you know, before it was just pictures and like and blah, blah. You couldn't even, you couldn't even reply back to people mm. and stuff. You couldn't do all of that. So how was you, you know when I mean? the Instagram went down the other uh-huh. day and everybody was uh, panicking? Nah, I mean, I'm, was I'm, you one of those or nah, was you calm? Nah, 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 I'm, I'm past <laughs> all of that. Nah, I, mean, I, you know, I just, now I post that like, once a day or whatever, you know, mm. and... Uh, but I mean, at the time, and even now, like you know, I've I've written I've written a, a few books um, that's online about social media and things like that. Mm-hmm. But I always say that you know, if you're older, you have to grasp how to communicate and how to make money out of these platforms mm-hmm. because they're making money out of us every day, every minute, every you know. Mm-hmm. I'll tell I'll tell you guys something that will blow your mind, right? So when I was building, I built Fabs Network, right? Mm-hmm. I would go to these things called, um, it was called App Junction. It was like an app thing they used to do like in Google Campus in the city mm. where people could just gather and stuff. And um, this guy was de- demonstrating this app, right? Mm. And it was two lines of code. So he's developed two lines of code that you can insert into Instagram, insert into any app, right, in behind mm. the scenes, right? Mm. And he demonstrated exactly how the app worked. So he put the code, he, he transferred the code into, into some app. He put up that, he put it up, and then he opened up. The app instantly started to record his face, mm. like into a into mm-hmm. a, like a hard drive, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know? And I was like, if this guy here in can front of me do can that. do this, what is Instagram um, like, doing, doing with our, when we, we, we click on certain things mm-hmm. and stuff like that? It's all psychological, yeah, it's all you right. know? 
But and yeah, no, nah, just I want a bigger Otis as well. Yeah, Otis, oh, yeah, yeah. Otis is my guy. Otis, Otis yeah, Otis, Otis connects with us. Get me, Otis, yeah. give, give us. Because yeah. um, you see what it is, it's always mm. good as well. Because obviously, when man started a podcast, yeah. mm. I don't know about bloody podcasts and all mm. that. So mm. that's who I went to. Mm. Right. Mm. You know what I'm it's always good to have someone yeah. in the hood. Or yeah. whatever, yeah, that you, yeah. can, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That you could go yeah. to and get advice, yo, mm-hmm. what's, what's going yeah. on? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? No, Spotify, man ain't even got into it properly yet. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> right. pick up for all of that. Yeah. We're going to move on to the current affairs. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say, but thanks for your story, yeah. man. Nah, it's all good, man. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say? Thanks good. for yeah, yeah, listening us with a different, it's all good. a different aspect, you get what I'm trying it's to say? Good. Mm-hmm. It's all good. But yeah. Two man's knackered, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, like how you're talking about your knackered, we might as well just jump straight into <coughs> Hillary and Wilder, innit? Yes, oof. Because yeah, you both that's stayed that's up to watch it. I was, yeah, I was in dreamland. I can't believe he's, he's so... <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? He's good. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. I knew I shouldn't have stayed up as well, that's but I had to. You know, like, I, yeah. I was thinking I was just going to go sleep, <sighs> wake up... Mm. Um, watch it on the YouTube oh, yeah, yeah, without, saying, without yeah. looking in the social media and things. Mm, mm, mm. But nah, I'm a, I'm a boxing fan, so I just yeah. stay up. Great fight. Yeah, yeah, I went nah, bad. It's, it's a good fight, man. Mm. Good fight. But no, nah, I mean, who did you think was going to win? Did you think? Well, I, 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 I thought win. Fury was going to win. Yeah. You thought Fury yeah, was going to yeah, win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, money I thought, was going to I thought Fury was going to win, yeah, but I wanted Wilder to just knock yeah. him out. Because mm. not even like that, but just on a black man thing, I'm just. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like he's lost twice. Yeah. I'm with Fury, cool, mm-hmm. but it's like you've lost twice. Yeah, yeah. do something. Just knock him out. Yeah, do and something. And then it's cool. Yeah. Like, you got know what I'm trying to say? I didn't want his ego to be so smashed in, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. type of thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then, the way he came into fight, I was so happy. Mm-hmm. Because, like, obviously, you saw the second fight, he got mm-hmm. smashed in. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's probably what Fury might have thought was going on. You know, my man come and started getting some big body, sh- mm. body shot. Doom, doom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some lift. You get what I'm saying? Start yeah. Nah, no, I heard he gave him some Yeah, he was lift. on it. He was on he it. Was you get what I'm saying? The first two rounds, mm. he was even on it. I'm even tweeting like, yeah, wow, the mm-hmm. mm-hmm. coming on smoke. Mm-hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. Next minute, just... Fury's folded him. Bloop, yeah, bloop. Yeah. Mm. A one, two, he's down. You get mm. what I'm saying? I can't mm. believe you're down. <laughs> you get me? I'm... I'm so even what tweeting is it? Bush, you Wilder can't just, <laughs> you know what Wilder can't take punches. No, 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 no he I might. Like, he, he, like, he, he, he can, he's, he's a big good. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah, think that yeah. he's not. He yeah, can't take that, punches. I think stamina. Mm. I think it's more anyone. Because I feel yeah, like anyone, yeah. anyone Fury puts yeah, that on, yeah, they're yeah, going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Heavyweight boxing. Yeah, he definitely came back up. He came back up and put Fury on the floor twice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're not him down more. It's, I, 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 think, I think longevity in the, in, in, in the mat, he just hasn't got the stamina. Mm. He ain't you got know, the stamina, the but stamina. you know what it is, yeah, mm. as well, I noticed. Because it's like, seeing the seeing the um the first fight, mm. see when um, Wilder knocked him out, boom! Mm. Nearly, blood, I yeah. thought he was dead. How, how he smacked him and how his head yeah, yeah, licked yeah, on the canvas, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I thought he was dead. I thought it was a wrap. The yeah. way he, boom! I, like, I take off. A, we- a normal ref supposed to wave that off. Mm. No one to wave it off. Mm. He's dead. Mm. Like, I don't even want you to take one more punch today. Mm. He's supposed to wave it off. Mm. He gave him, started counting. Uh, one, two, yeah. till my man snapped out yeah. of it. They yeah. said at nine, but yeah. in real time, it was past ten. Mm. He snapped out of it. Big up um, Fury. He's a, he's a G. Mm. Get me, come on. I just feel like... But listen, sorry. Yes, yeah? sir. With... Um, this one, mm. it's like the same thing with mm. Deontay. Yeah. When my man, bang, he's down, yeah? Mm. But obviously he's fucked, yeah? But you can see he's still trying to mm. work it out. Yeah, he's yeah, still yeah. trying to get up. Yeah, yeah. They didn't even give him yeah, a count. Yeah, yeah. Waved it off, because yeah. that's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do. Do you know so what I'm saying? That's what you do. I'm not, I'm not time, yeah. even saying they shouldn't have waved it off, yeah, 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 he, he was, was gone, you get me? Who was your money on? You know what I mean? No, I, 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 I knew Tyson was going to do it. Yeah. But I want, I did want Fury, uh, sorry, I did want Wilder to kind of do something. Yeah, yeah. To, you know, who's because you, it, to, to mix it up. To mix who's it up. Um, I, I, I just thought, because I just, I don't know, I think maybe Fury, because I just thought he was going to win anyway. I just mm-hmm. thought he's the stronger guy. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like the stronger fighter should win, mm. me personally. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But Wilder is definitely a, a, a wicked boxer. Yeah, like, he's really good. I do he's like good. Wilder and stuff, but even from the last one, I just think like when it comes to Wilder versus Fury, mm. Fury's the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. better boxer. But one thing I did I mean? take from that, one thing I took from that is that both of them are whack. I was, I was smashing uh, uh, in Joshua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both yeah, yeah, yeah. of them are yeah, yeah, yeah. smashing yeah, in Joshua. Yeah, That's yeah. what. Yeah. Like, yeah. all right, cool. He yeah. lost the Fury, mm-hmm. but he's smashing in all of them. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. get what I'm saying? It, Fury's a, a different thing, yeah. isn't it?
That's yeah. what I was going to say. That's in them. Yeah. yeah. Fury. Fury coming you like see, some old Scottish Viking or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, see him like, with Fury. He needs, he needs a man to smack him for him to go crit, like, for him yeah. to get into the fight. Yeah. So it's like, so when my man yeah, knocked him, him out, yeah. it's like. That's what that, he got in. That's what, what? he got in. Yeah. He, that, he loves that. Yeah. It's not on he's Fury, a it's in him. You yeah, can see yeah, like yeah. he's. Look at his dad. That's exactly. So you see with him, it's like. It's in the jeans, mm. in it. It's DNA. Yeah. He was born mm. to fight. So you know what I'm saying? So you've got a ten so for a six and eighteen or something. Just done a madness. Like, you know, but, um, he whacked up some armor. Mm. <laughs> next, yeah, yeah. next thing, but, though. Yeah. Next thing. Next thing. All right. Well, let's go into um, Dutch and Bouncer. Oh God, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah Dutch and Bouncer. They are. But you know what? Yeah, Ooh. big them up though, car. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They're on this swinging thing, but. So a, do you think it's gonna happen though? It's a bag. It's a bag. If they, if there's a bag in it, like you know what I, I mean. Thought, I thought um, that don't that that don't seem to me like he, he's dumb. Do you mm, know what I'm saying? Mm, if there's mm, a bag, there's a bag, bag in it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. <coughs> if it was me, sorry, I keep coughing, but mm. if it was me, I'd, I'd like not like that. I'm not even on that. Mm. But see, on the bag level, yeah, the money, yeah, like, the money's good. <laughs> I'll be on it. Yeah, the money. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like man, tell me about you get, and I, you can put me in front of the biggest guy, even mm. arms. I'll, I'll, yeah. Arms, if you want, I'll do it now. Do you get what I'm saying? If the bag, can you see me? <laughs> I, all you you pay your money to come and see me um, get knocked out for of the first jab, first round. Mm, mm, mm. Boom, first jab, I'm down. Yeah. Got my money. <laughs> <laughs> got my money. You know, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not in at all of that. Yeah. I might yeah. even go down for my body shot. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But I just get my jab, I just get my money, yeah. and I will link you on the road same I way. I feel like nothing. I link you on the road same yeah. way. Yeah. I I'm, like not on all that fighting thing. I'm not on all that fighting thing. I just get the bag and we'll link same. Yeah. With you. you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I lost, weary, but we'll I, see. I, you I lose. feel like um, people will be more even. I feel like this one will um, draw even more attention mm. than him and Arms. It fight would cause I, because of I the believe, history, what they got yeah, together. Yeah, and, and I, I believe they're real enemies. Do like, you understand? And, you know, yeah, they got you know, history. Not to put that and mm. out, they're, like, they're not like, even yeah. real enemies. They're, they just don't like each other. They don't like each other. They don't like each other. Because enemies don't get into rings. Yeah, true. To go back into the fight though. Um, with Wilder and Fury, did you see Wilder's wife when he was down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, was cry. Cry. she was crying. She was crying. She, well, was, she was crying. Oh, I didn't like that. She was though. screaming. Yeah, because yeah. that's like, listen, I felt her pain, you know, yeah. differently. Because if mm. I saw my man down there, mm. you know mm. what I mean, though, innit? I saw yeah. it in her face. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it didn't, was, yeah. yeah. But she, was, but you should have seen her face when he was knocked, when he was the one putting. Yeah, obviously. Down yeah, she was like, yeah, come on, babes. Yeah, come on. Yeah. That's what she. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. What else I want? Um, the digger D group chat. Yeah, digger D group chat getting leaked. Yeah, or hat or whatever. They're saying oh, are these shit and that. But you know, you know what it is, yeah. Mm. See, to me, it's like so what. Not even like that. What it's, was it's, so what? Do you, so what exactly was going on in there? So what they were just, just chatting, say, just what? basically, yeah, like. He's done a tune, Digger D done a tune with RD, mm. and he's, you know what I mean? I think he's posted some, like, saying, like, what do you not think? Where, where, where? Mm. And they're just having their opinion. yeah, like opinions. Opinions. They're just yeah. having their opinions. Yeah. Of yeah. One man saying yeah. his shit, Nick man saying whatever, whatever. You get me? My man saying, but it's going to make pee or whatever. But mm. my whole thing is so what? Mm. Like, mm. them, it's their private fucking yeah, they're, conversation. Yeah. They're not yeah. doing it for it to go out mm. or whatever. Mm. Like, they're not his bridging like that. You mm. see, that's their opinion. Do you mm-hmm. get what I'm trying to say? It's mm-hmm. like, Man, we, we share different opinions. I think Ardy's hard. Yeah. That's you what I said last episode. Yeah. Like, I everyone's, said I got their, he was good. everyone's got their own opinions, yeah. but I think he's hard. Yeah. At the same time, I think he took he copied millions, didn't he? Mm. He just took off millions flow or whatever. Mm. But he's even said it himself, like anyone saying that they think I sound like millions, that's a um, compliment. Mm. Because millions is hard. Millions but is definitely hard. Whether or not, whoever you take off, everyone's got to take off someone. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. But my whole point is lyri- his lyrical ability. And he's um, personality. Get inspired, but don't take his personality. The whole thing. Um, mm. You know, he's got a lot going for him. I like, mm. I like him still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but so what? Mm. Like, mm. you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like, why is mm. he even getting put about like that? And that's the pressure of being famous. You get what I'm trying to say? Or, oh yeah, they said so what? If they mm. said he's shit, so what? Mm. Like, yeah. some people say I'm shit. Do you think I give a shit? Hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't think I'm shit. I don't give a shit. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, like for, for yeah. my thing, I'm everyone's, lit, got, that's their own, all everyone's that got their own opinion. Indeed. And I'm sure RD ain't losing no sleep and he's not nah. losing no pound <laughs> coins <laughs> exactly. either. No, no, he's getting more money for he's, it. Yeah, he's yeah, not losing yeah. no pound yeah. coins yeah. either. So it's like. I just feel so like, what? though, that this generation, like, we're quite old school. Like, mm-hmm. from we feel like that, that's all right. But I feel like there's more pressure on them to get validation from outsiders. You know what I mean? Listen, I can't explain yeah. it. It's like a follow mentality. Let, like me, tell a you lot, Let me tell you a lot, Sam. See, if my um, 
if me and the man them or whatever, or mm. certain things got leaked from you, yeah? mm. we just be in prison probably. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? So there's certain things that you don't even expect to get leaked. Yeah, you get what I'm true. trying to say? Mm, like you're true. just talking to your brethren you know, and you're just, like, I find it disrespectful yeah. that yeah. whoever even hacks it, like, yeah, leaks yeah, that's that. what I why, would you, why are you going to leak? So yeah. It's like they screen Fuck recorded that. Yeah. Yeah. Why, they screen record it. why would yeah. you do that? It's and then, so you know fucking petty. Because that's like, when they even when people say like, um, oh my God, it's crazy now, it's crazy now. It's like when you mm. were saying, it's mm. not even like those things weren't happening, it's just that mm. now you lot can see it. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Order. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. It's out of order, it's but I like how even, I see Digger's response to it, and yeah. I like how he even... Yeah, so do I. Do you know what I mean? How he dealt with it, like, okay, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? It was a private, like, he dealt with it heavy still, like... Yeah, mm. like, he was, like, laughing saying? at the guys, like, how you get hacked? Or, yeah, like, how you get hacked? Like, how you get hacked, man? Why you? You get what I'm saying? You must... Fucking hell. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't believe this. Yeah, he's like, fucking hell, Joe, or whatever the guy's name is. You can't believe this, like, bro, man. How you make man here, like, I'm saying, all these, man. him, like, oh, God. You make it hard, you find out, I think he's mad. You get what I'm saying? But they weren't setting him up or anything like that. That's just their opinion, and if you think no one ain't got an opinion about you... No, but it's like what he said, isn't it? It's just jokes, isn't it? Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Not like that, but man, them got their own little banter. Especially man in the group chat, like Reds' is group chat, the way they banter with each other, it's hilarious the way they go on at each other. Do you know what I mean? They laugh at each other, cuss at each other all the yeah. time. No, I ain't in no I mean? group chat, but I can yeah. imagine. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Yeah, I, I don't even like I don't even like people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're chatting. Yeah, I'm on, I mean, I'm mad. Ch- that's what I'm saying. Mm. The, the um, main subject is change. Mm. You get me? So. so there's more, though. Mm-hmm. Shakir, did you hear about him? Uh, a weapon. I know he's a rapist. A mm. star for a lot. Ain't that the rapist one, Shakir? Yeah, he went in prison for rape. Yeah, Harry, man. I don't, but what's, what's he dealing with? So basically, he went to Amsterdam and allegedly stabbed up a bounce, uh, promote, the promoter that booked him. Ooh. He stabbed him up. He's in jail over there. Dave. Oh, he's in jail. That same promoter, my sister done a tune for him as well. Ooh. So, yeah, he's like a big promoter in Amsterdam. They've made him come over. He was acting weird on stage, lifting up his top and doing all kinds of funniness. Like, mm. I don't know if they thought he was on something or whatever, but just moving mad dodgy, do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. And he's, he's only basically, he stabbed him up and um, the court, they've remanded him. So he's in some serious fucking yeah, trouble yeah, right it's, now. It's yeah, but, but he seems to be getting in a lot because just a little while ago before that, there was audio leaked of him like basically flying out some girls over to Jamaica or wherever, wherever it was. And because they wasn't doing certain sexual things with him, the way he was bad in that, he's like he was acting like he wanted to beat oh, them up, Lord. kill them in that's, there, basically. Like, yeah, yeah, he like, just needs, I don't know what needs to happen to him, yeah. but yeah, fucking hell. Lock, like, locked up. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, what it yeah. is. He needs to go about, and sit yeah. down. Do you know what I mean? I talk about that, Harry, but you know, he's nice or not even nice. Because he gets away with it, because he can sing and the type of songs mm. he does and whatever. It's like people. He don't like, get away with it, he does bird. He's got but he's getting booked, it. so he does no, get away no, with it. But when I say get away with it, he goes jail. He went jail for rape. Yeah, but since he then he's he just he been doing other stuff. Mm. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so but, you know, yard mud in it, but flipping. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's in the bin. He's, he's smoking weed though. He's in damn fam. He's <sighs> laughing. You get me? But what else is going on? And um, have you lot seen um, Squid Games? What everyone's talking no, about? I've heard yeah, about. So what's it about? What's it? that? So basically, imagine yeah. Everyone's talking about Squid Games. I'm at home now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm at home and my son and my man's telling me about this Squid Games. They start it. I see, like, the beginning of it. I'm like, this doesn't even look all that. They fall asleep. I didn't go to bed till 4 a.m. You watched the whole I watched thing? the whole season Ooh. back to back but what is in it? one what is night. It what is it about it's that? got mm-hmm. It's such a crazy fucking yeah. concept, yeah, mm-hmm. that it's like... You're, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you're, so, you're just you can't stop watching it. Yeah, what yeah. Is so, it? So okay, yes. all right. So, so basically, it's like a uh, a mo- like a, a say like not Krypton Factor, but say like a, a multiple game show, right? Mm-hmm. With loads of contestants, mm-hmm. and the prize is safe was on fifty million. Whoa. Right, yeah. Yes. But, but, yeah, the prize uh, is like, yeah, but they, you, you forgot about who they target. The yeah. so, so, basically, yeah. The squid games. So, yeah. basically, <laughs> there's people, like, say, so they're in, they're in China or somewhere, yeah, like yeah. China or yeah. something, yeah? Mm-hmm. And they're, each person is going through hella hardship. Yes. They're in loads of debt, yeah. millions of pounds worth okay. of debt and things mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Some man comes up to him, mm-hmm. they play a little game and say, play this game with me, you yeah. can get some, you money. Get some money. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The game is obviously made for them to lose. Oh, fuck. 
and they do you understand but mm. they give them a card, card. they wanna... call up and they yeah. ask them if they want to come okay it's yeah. your choice it's your choice yeah. you would like to come mm. but you don't know what you're coming to you don't know where you're exactly. coming okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah when you go with they you call up the number so they come and pick you up you get in the car some smoke comes in the car knocks you out you don't know where you are until mm. you get there mm. Mm. you see when you get there spray yeah. <laughs> so you're there with a, like hundreds of different people mm. everyone's got a number on their thing <laughs> yeah mm. it's all was well, it their chinese people yeah, yeah. chinese they're, they're, people they're, were mental you know <laughs> they listen me up. but the, the, the way they the put this and all that what <laughs> so it's like so you know that they just do madness they're in some place this big looking warehouse but it's all mm. clinical mm. and everything <laughs> and then people talking through the tannoys mm. all of the security everybody's got a mask mm. they don't talk mm. they don't say nothing it's all you know mm-hmm. so anyways they tell them you're gonna play a game that's the that's the number of the game there's a massive piggy bank in the sky mm-hmm. and it keeps each game that gets played it gets filled with more money mm. do you understand mm-hmm. so they go to play a game each game is based off like a like games that we used to play like yeah. um hopscotch not mm-hmm. down you but in the the chinese ones mm-hmm. yeah but there's a twist to it so the games are every time you you win a game whoever doesn't win a game you just get shot in the head killed just no killed. yeah 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 You're so the first game there's like killings. this big massive doll and she's no, real like, life killing yeah, yeah. real life yeah. so in basically China, so old people and it's women cool for them to just get so they, killed so, but it's your choice so there's old oh, women oh my yeah, china's yeah. listen listen yeah. so there's china there's, is yeah crazy. so there's there's women men and this is, again, old this men is, and the young. law is cool this is no in the no law, no it's right they to do flew this. them so this is some private so i know what i'm saying all right private but i'm saying in their law it's cool to just do that i That's don't think it's in, 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 in the law in the film oh it's a film yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a series, film. series it's a series it's a series oh, i thought this is like reality no 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 that's what I'm thinking. Oh my fuck! Yeah, yeah. 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 That was going on in China. But the way it is okay, done, so it's, it's so mental, like. Mental, mental, mental. But nah, but it's literally so lit. The way they yeah, do it, it looks really yeah. realistic. They spare no one. Straight away, I'm not watching it. Old people. I can't believe it's not real. Literally, but you know what they do? Some reality things. They do things like you've got to stay still, and if somebody else. Not they get shot beside you. You still got to stay still. Or you're gonna get. They killed. didn't even get shot. You get <laughs> what I'm saying? They're alive. They're alive. It's a, it's uh, a feel. It's a yeah, feel. but it's you're a, you're yeah, like, in it now. It's, but, yeah. it's, it's, it's a number one. It's lit though. I like. Yeah, it's a number it's one show. It's fucking lit. It's yeah. literally yeah. the number one yeah. show. Yeah. 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 I watched it to the end. The whole season. See, like I don't like stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? Not I like real shit. You get what I'm saying? Like not if you're acting like it's real, but it's not real. You get what I'm saying? It's got to be something like the. But the reason why it's so good is because I haven't watched. A, f- a program like it mm-hmm. it was totally different yeah it was you know what and i'm it was saying it was, yeah so it was like, like what i got from it is that it, it really showed that there's a possibility that if this show was real yes people would do anything for money, for money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. come on anything okay. for money mm-hmm. you know anything. And, it, true, and, true, true. and everyone when you when you do watch it and i'm not saying you are but if you watch it everyone could connect with it yeah mm-hmm. you're like nah we you know, and then you start to feel, can I kill someone for money? Like, and and, 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 and just how, and yeah, just how loyal crazy. people are. Oh, because yeah. loyalty, everybody's loyal until it's either you, you or me, innit? Yeah. Do you mm-hmm. understand what, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, it was that's, crazy. That's it, it was, was crazy. Mm. And um, have you lot heard about the Jess from Little Mix? Yes, yeah, I heard the about that. The video, what she yeah, did. The, have yeah. you have uh-huh. you sprayed? Imagine that, yeah. like, we were just... Remember, nah. she, Jade, Jade is with... Um, Jordan. Weapon. So basically, Jess is the one that left Little Mix. So she's left the group, mm. yeah? And um, she's her song just came out this week and it's not trending like in is, yeah. multiple yeah, countries. Yeah. So you remember that tune, Bad Boy For Life? Mm. Da, da. Yeah. She's done that kind of... It's, it's got that sample. Mm. Mm-hmm. Puff Daddy's in it. Nikki's on the on the on it as well. Mm-hmm. Nikki killed that feature as well. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, smashed but, it. Mm-hmm. The tune to me mm-hmm. actually was kind of lit. If mm-hmm. just if they had put another iconic person, I mm-hmm. think it actually would have been yeah. like a really nostalgic yeah, tune. Yeah. Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, she's come on it and she's just got a whole new image. Yeah. Her tan, she looks like she's yeah. gone ten yeah. shades darker. Mm-hmm. Singing all different. You know what I mean? She yeah. wants bad boys and yeah. whatever, whatever. So everybody's like but, accusing um, yeah, her of it's blackfishing and, black and, and, and all yeah. of that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 What's your thoughts on it? Um, oh man, it's controversial. Like <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad one. But I think there is there is some truth to it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, yeah, there is some truth to it. And sometimes I, I believe that some celebrities and entertainers will use 
black culture to further themselves but don't want to be of black culture exactly do you get what I mean so there is definitely some truth to it you know because not everyone can kind of point that out and then there not be no truth to it as well but I do disagree mm. with the way they're just trying to cuss her because mm. the internet's a savage place mm. yeah. and people are like like you know they it's like they just want to destroy her. Like, mm. it's mad. You know I mean? But you, you know, know what? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I'm not really on that inciting hate and all yeah, that on somebody. I think but what I yeah. will say about that is, apparently, Leanne, which is the black girl in mm-hmm. there, or mixed race girl, mm-hmm. she caught a lot of... Stick, yeah. For, stick yeah, being the bl- yeah. only black person yeah. in the group, and yeah. she's spoken out about mm-hmm. it. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And yeah. she's had to dumb a lot of mm-hmm. her little... What, how, whatever you call what we have do you know mm. what I mean yeah, down yeah, a bit yeah, yeah. and even the features I've seen them do songs with Rihanna I've mm-hmm. seen them do songs with with um, Nicki Minaj mm-hmm. and they to me wasn't even as much as mm. you know mm. as hip hop as what she did mm. just now mm. you know well, I, I don't know I think it is culture what did you say cultural appropriation I do cultural think so yeah, yeah. yeah I do yeah because yeah. that's not you yeah it's not I've it's never seen her. you yeah. be like that before mm. Do you know what I mean? I know it's just a song. I'm not saying like we have to take it literally like she loves bad. I know she's doing yeah. a song, but that's like fancy that. dress. <laughs> it's like, that's it is that's though. A good, that's a good what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. because when artists do things like that and put on saris so, and yeah, stuff, they get su- they can't do, do it. They can't do it. Do you understand can't what I'm it. saying? But it's when true. it comes down to arting, arting yeah. It's yeah. always looked upon yeah. a different way. Yeah. I just wanted yeah. to touch on another thing as well. Who comes to their defence? Mm. When these things pop off, the first people that come to their defence are black men. Black men, yeah, yeah. That's what, what the Zizi fuck said. are you doing? That's what Zizi said. No, but it's the truth, though. The truth, I don't yeah. agree with Zizi on a lot of stuff, but mm. I do agree with her on and, that. Yeah, nah, she's right. 100%. Where are you going defending them? Because they don't defend you. <laughs> they don't, def- they don't nah. defend you, us. It's true. And it's we're right. the ones that defend you. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. So you lot need to know about that. Mega Man also tweeted mm. some facts as well mm, about yeah, it as well. Yeah, yeah. They Big use up, our culture. Mm. There you go, number one in multiple countries. Do mm. you get me? With Crazy. Nicki, Puff, yeah. Sample, yeah. Black, Hip Hop, Street Music. You know what I mean, though, isn't no, it? Like, true. come on. Yeah, it's true. You know? It's true. No, I, I totally agree with you. Totally but, agree. Yeah, that was that on that. What else? Um, the, yeah, the last thing is um, the Madeline. Is it McCann? Yeah. yeah. You know about, obviously, we all know. How many years has that been now? This is years. What yeah. happened on? Well, they're saying yeah, they that they are 100% it. sure that they have they the have person, person that took yeah. her. Mm. You know. And they found a body. I don't know. That's all I saw. So I, I don't know what to say about that because sometimes I feel like every time they they want distraction in the media, they bring mm. up this girl's name. Yeah, it's mad. Do you know Shade what I mean? Burrow. Shade Burris says Madeline McCann investigators 100% sure. German paedophile, they have in custody killed her. Mad. Mm. Mad. Disappear- P- prosecutors <sighs> investigating the disappearance of Madeline McCann say they are 100% sure she was murdered by a sex offender. They are already holding custody. The German authorities say they have the evidence to charge convicted sex offender Christian, whatever that surname mm. is and hope to conclude the investigation next year. Hans Christian Walters, the prosecutor in charge of the case, said, we're confident we have the man who took and killed her. It is now possible that we could charge. We have that evidence now. Mm. Madeline went missing, age three, from a holiday apartment in Portugal, 07. Mm. Mr. Walters and his team now admit they have no proof she is dead, saying we have no body and no DNA, but we have other evidence. Based on the evidence we have, it leads to no other conclusion. I can't tell you on which basis we assume she is dead, but for us, there's no other possibility. Sorry for that. Oh, wow. that there is no like hope she is alive. Now, basically, obviously, they've mm. got evidence to show mm. that a man's pro- obviously napped her or whatever, but where there's no sightings of her, he's probably got rid of the body, don't know what he's done, innit? A mm. staff or law, but yeah. Mm. At least they've got, you know what I mean? That's a, they can bring some closure to that. You know what I mean? Because mm. I was even that one was like, I started to think that was a bit. I started pre the parents like thinking you lot might have done that, you know? Because mm. mm. it's like I was just thinking it was a bit. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, and yeah, the way yeah. they were just 
but yeah. It's one thing having, you know, losing a child that way, and then it's another thing not even having closure. Mm. Like, every mm. day just wondering what What's would happen. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And then you know? blame yourself. Her, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, even the whole thing's mad. Them yeah, leaving that's, her and that's all. That's what I'm that's saying. All that's why I thought it was all nuts. Like, yeah, all so you've still. gone, and then you've left your, your little yeah. daughter in the thick, oh. like... So, all right, cool, you've got closure, but within that closure, know that you, no matter what closure, you've always got yourself to blame. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, look after your blood clot children. Yeah. Like, don't go on holiday and, or know what, know your child, innit? As well. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Make sure they're old enough for you to school them. Look, look don't answer to not, blah, 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 blah. Don't just yeah. leave them. <laughs> we, we do you definitely know what I'm saying? Close that, all yeah. the wind. Because yeah. not like that, man's being left alone from that, yeah. yeah. man's schooled, man, yeah. you get what I'm saying? The but, only um, thing is, because she was three, <laughs> you get what I'm yeah, it was too she, young. I mean, does she stand a chance? Especially if, a per- especially if the person, that's what their intention was. You oh, know, no, like they sat not, there, no, they could have took her, held her mouth. You know, like I mean, drugged her, mm. anything like. You know, what? But they Come left them she, in the room. They oh, left the, I know. Why would you go on holiday and leave yeah, them yeah, in the room? Yeah. Like, and I'm sure country. they said the window was cracked or something. I mean, I just, do you know what? That's how I could have been. Yeah, Get me. Yeah, you to be. I know it sounds bad, and I know that they was grieving. But with those type of things, you see, if I was in control, you would be going to. Well, you have to live with it, so I'm sure you're going to be in pain. But mm. that's neglect. That's neglect. No, but that's no. why I it is. It was dodgy. It's reckless. You know, like when they say reckless endangerment or reckless, what's it called? Mm. If you was doing, if you had the kids and you took, it was in that room. He couldn't come in there and take the child. Mm. No, that's true. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. That's the whole point. Facts. Facts. It's just a, it's a sad, it's just a that sad. That poor little girl, man. Yeah, man. Jeez. Yeah, man. It's like the other one, that Jean Bonnet. Do you remember the um? I don't know if you remember the little one that used to do the pageants. She used to win all the pageants. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, somebody yeah. say so, someone yeah. took her out, took her, out yeah. and all now mm. they kind of solve find, that mystery. Solve that yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I some, think even her parents have passed since then. Yeah. But it, that's just that's crazy, some evil, man. Some hate, right. some wicked evil, people, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mad people, Yeah, some mad. It's not. What have you been up to this week, Spray? This week, well, I went Gary's Nation. Big up, um. Big bro, MC Kai. Manchester, big up Zyker as well, Kers, Fab. Robbo. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? I spoke to um, Gav as well, JV. I spoke Did to Gav you? last night. Gav. You get me watching the fight. Big you you up, me, man. Big up. Um, Gav, man. Come on. You get me upset yeah. for that guy, man. But yeah, yeah free man. him, free him. Yeah. But yeah, Gav um, till he's backwards. Yeah, man. So, done Gary's Nation. Um, I went, oh yeah, it was, was my it aunt. good? Yeah, you had fun. Yeah, it was all right. Still, not really. I'm just... I don't really care about it. Yeah, yeah, I don't really care about it no more. I just went because I knew you was going to ask me this. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, don't let yeah, me draw you out. Know you know. like, so, don't let me draw you out. That's cool. I'm, I'm nice in Manchester. Yeah, I just told you who I spoke yeah, to last yeah, night. Yeah, Gav, yeah, like, yeah. GAV, top. He's in me. Mm-hmm. So, and even the man, them, when I go up there, that's what I'm saying, Zayka, you know my people oh. or whatever. The man, them, I link. Mm. They know what's going on mm-hmm. over there and they're not into too much. They're not into all that pasta rare, mm-hmm. but they know everything or whatever. You know what I mean? So, and as a London person, no matter how, how bad you think you are, when you're going out of town and all yeah. that, you have to make sure you're connected up yeah, to yeah, the right yeah, people yeah, and indeed. your pattern. Yeah, and indeed. I know, so when I go to Manchester, my head back's mad secure. Cause mm-hmm. then I got uncle, I got Pat Barrett, I got in um, Cheetah Mill, I got this one there, I got um, pattern. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like um, pattern, I knew H before H was, cause mm-hmm. H see me on Mossad. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. So I'm patterned. 
Saying that, why I'm saying that, because the thing I've heard, I heard Squeak's got his watch took or something. Oh, for like, real? Well, Manchester, yeah, in Manchester, but yes, but I'm saying, because if you're not patterned, mm. you could just be somewhere loose and not know. I've be, I been up there with man, and man's all beat shots after the car, like, yo, Jack, Jack. You get what I'm saying? So I know it's on, it's not just in London. <laughs> yeah, so it's true. I'm being in the car, yeah. man, I'm beating shots, but mm. yo, Jack, Jack, Jack. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, but yeah, no, nah, it was all right. And then, yeah, it was my aunt's birthday, so we done a little surprise dinner for her. Oh, that's um, nice. Yesterday, you get me? Um, mm. The same aunt from Really The Most Volume 2, you get me? <laughs> um, I sense a snake, but my sis says he can't be. I want to give him bullet, but I love my auntie. He <laughs> get me Scarface, you get me? But yeah, that auntie there, you get me? Pick her up, you get me? Um, what else have I done? Nothing. <laughs> I ain't, oh yeah, I've been I've been a bit ill. You can hear the cough. Mm-hmm. I'm going mm-hmm. mad. Mm-hmm. I'm forgetting. I was in hospital for a couple of days. Quickly, you get me? Mm-hmm. Going too crazy, car. When I'm ill, I'm just ill, and you get. What I'm trying to say so. I just done a madness. I was just, and then. Shall I say it? Yeah. I fainted. <laughs> oh, God. Why did you say yeah? I thought he was going to talk about the tissue. I thought he was going to say Terry Walker vibes. I didn't know he was going to no. go that deep, though. But, oh, I that's fainted. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? In yeah, my no, yard. that's not good, though. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. yeah. And then I w- Do you know the maddest thing? I opened my eyes, blood, yeah? Mm. And I looked at the ceiling and I thought I'd fallen off the um, sofa. Mm. Yeah. Then I got up and I realised I'm in the corridor. <laughs> oh, man. So then I said, ah, oh, mate. But, That's like a blackout. Yeah, yeah, mm. But then I just... Well, I phoned the ambulance, didn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. I phoned the ambulance. But I'm used to phoning the ambulance for mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. But since since I went ambulance, um, no, I checked out mm-hmm. um, after that GRM, whatever, yeah. Mm-hmm. I checked out of intensive care. Mm-hmm. I should have I should have stayed there for longer. But they was like, oh yeah, if any if you get any pain, go mm-hmm. to the, if that phone the ambulance, blah blah. Mm-hmm. So then I felt pain in it, but two days in, do you get what I'm saying? I found the ambulance. They've come for me. They've come quick and fast. You get me? Mm-hmm. They've got me in there quick and fast. I'm on a bed now. Mm-hmm. So I realized, rah, I didn't even have to wait for no hours, nothing. Mm-hmm. From, so we're on see, fast track here. From see from there, <laughs> see from there, see any time I feel sick. I, man, I'm from Dominica. I don't even know about a GP like that. Mm-hmm. We just know about hospital. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't got no GP or nothing. So anytime man feel any... Oh, for real? Just hospital? Yeah, that's it. anytime man feel any way. But so it's like, now I've known about ambulance. Even though I shouldn't even say that because my sister's annoyed at me. Mm. Because you can't use... You shouldn't use an ambulance for anything. But anyway, any little thing, I just phone him. Listen, I need... <laughs> I, 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 so you get me coming. You get me? They're coming to me. They know mm-hmm. I could have internal bleeding. There's something mm. that come for me now. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're coming for me, bitch. I've had to come back. They're telling me, uh, they're giving me um, painkillers, saying there's nothing wrong with you, mate. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, but no. Anyway, I was there for two days. There was something wrong with me this time, but I'm cool now. Alhamdulillah. Um, but yeah, I'm back in the gym. I, I, I weren't in the gym for like a week and a half, but I'm back now. I've been there for a couple of days. You forgot to mention. You're back in the gym. Yeah, mm-hmm. when, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back in oh, the no, gym. I even asked you what yeah, you exactly. did. Yeah, exactly. See how tired I am? Yeah. See how tired I am? Yeah. But yeah, that's all I've done. What have you been doing? Well, back in the gym. Mm. But fucking hell. <laughs> did I get a reality check? <laughs> no, nah, honestly, I got mm. a reality check because I ain't been in the gym in a little while. I mm. went round there, we and Red. I've been signed up, yeah. I was giving a big chat on Twitter. Mm. I'm going to be in there every day. Yeah. I still didn't go in till like a week later. Oof. So I started on leg day. Mm-mm. Your legs was hurting. <sighs> Did squat, the she leg Mm-mm. press. I hate that leg, leg press. press. The one that you sit down like this and push up. Yeah, oh, that one, yeah. That's the wor- I hate that machine. That's the worst one for me, yeah? So basically the next day, I went in the evening. Next day I woke up in the morning. I was fine, had my little shake or whatever. Towards the afternoon, went to walk down my stairs. I thought I was going to go head first because I couldn't feel my legs. My legs were gone. So, yeah, I'm just back in the process of, you know, like really getting back in the gym because it just fucked me up. Do you okay. know what I mean? Because okay, I used to go before, but mm-hmm. I've been lazy. Mm. Um, I went escape room. Mm-hmm. Again. 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 Because I went once before, mm. but it was just me and my daughter. Mm. And we that. needed, to, every minute we kept radioing for clues because we couldn't find the clues, just me and her. So mm. we went now, it was me to my. Reds, my son and my nephew went as well, so it was 
five of us, yeah? And now we've done the Dungeons Lair, like a sore room, but it was so good. Mm. We managed to get out the room as well. Uh-huh. We found all the clues. Yeah, like, it dope. was just so good. Like, it was fun. It was mm. fun. You lot should do it, though. It was good, man. Mm. And, um, yeah, and I'm just coming from a, um, a networking event. Okay, so my name's Aisheleen, and I'm the owner of Poster Girl Lashes. Um, Claudia, I'd just like to say thank you for having me here today at this wonderful event with all these beautiful ladies here. And um, yeah, so basically I started out doing beauty therapy from when I left school. Um, I've always been into makeup and those type of things. I, I've always loved making women feel and look beautiful from the inside out as well. Um, I got into lashes a long time ago and I just think that eyes really accentuate, like it's, it's one of the most important features on the face I reckon. It's the windows to the soul. Um, I started doing eyelashes because I noticed that, you know, your lashes just make your eyes pop. Yes. Yes. Basically, I got a big up Claudia, Claudia Q. She um, owns Quality Hair Time um, Hair Salon. She has her own beauty products and she just did a... Um, hair networking event at um, Kensington Holiday, Holiday Inn. So that's okay. where I'm just coming from now. So she asked me to come down and speak about my brand because I do lashes. So I've got my own lash brand and I had to do well a little done, tutorial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My hands were shaking a little bit when I was sticking <laughs> on the lashes because, you know, you're getting a bit yeah. nervous. I'm like, oh my God, but it went so good. Like I had to leave early, but yeah, it was really, really good. So yeah, but it's been doing that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, no, go on. And that's that. Oh yeah, you know what, actually? Couple of days ago, mm. I went. I went to um, collect some money, and then I was driving back, and I was driving past bloody. I was in the hood, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. driving past MPK. Okay. Like. Bust the corner, going past Reese's shop and, mm-hmm. and then I see bagger, like bare people outside, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I'm thinking, right, what's going on? Boom, you turn, you get me? Boom, drive past. Look to see if I see anyone. Boom, didn't see no one again. You turn again. Boom, see, see you get me, see Reese, couple of man, tech up, big up tech up. So I pulled up, screech, you get me? Boom, jumped out, mellow on them, cooking up some food. There with the um all in the liquor vibes, obviously mm-hmm. phone daps and that come true, have my head back. Big up beers as well, the man they come to. But yeah, all the little vibes there. Um, what have you done this week? What have I done? Ah, what have I done this week? I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, yeah, not, nothing exciting to be fair. Yeah, yeah obviously, I'm going yeah. Back now. obviously, you've just yeah. had your recent loss. Yeah, or whatever my loss. Yeah, so I've been. Yeah, I've been. No, no, nah, nah, yeah, just yeah. really been mm-hmm. sorting that like that. Mm-hmm. It was it was my birthday. Mm. On Friday. Oh, happy birthday. That's, that's what I've done this week. Happy it was my birthday, birthday on Friday. What? Come on. On, on Friday. That's that, yes, that's what I did. That was, more that's life, what I did. more blessings. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. No, you know I mean? we're gonna We're going to go into yeah. the main subject now, yeah? Mm. We're going to go into the main subject. And you mm. saying that brings us into the main subject. Because mm. it's yeah. changed, isn't it? Yeah. Indeed. And it's like, everything, like, to me, the reason I even picked that subject is because recently I've just been going through so much changes, changes, mm. changes, like constant changes, constant changes, mm. yeah? And it even... Do you know what I mean? Everything, like, so I thought, I'm thinking, like, because obviously you've got change, you could change for good, but you could change for bad as yeah, well. Yeah, change and growth. So, do you know what I mean? I think you have to, like, actually be be aware mm. of how you're changing. You have to be aware that we all change. Every day there's a change, but be aware of how you're changing as well, mm-hmm. you know? And it was your birthday, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. birthdays and New Year's and all that mm. always mm. cause you to now think about reflect yourself yeah. like, oh, it's mine yeah, at the end year. of the month the new yeah. year coming up like yeah. that's always when people want to make resolutions but mm. I all think you should resolute every day every morning indeed yeah. do you know what I'm saying I agree do you know what I mean make your resolutions every morning or every week mm. or not mm. every year like oh because it's like how fast is this year gone mm. do you know what I mean before you before you turn around it's, it's over mm-hmm. so all them resolutions you got to make again yeah. it's dead yeah. start now yeah. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Whenever um, the end of the year comes, anyway, you know, like some people start their New Year's resolutions in the New Year. Yeah. I always do mine before, so the changes I go, go into, into the, the New Year. I got exactly. you. I got you. Now it makes mm. sense. Do you understand? Well, what's it your What's your outlook on change? Yeah. Like, what, oh like, man. 
what made you like mm-hmm. do you know what made you change yeah or uh, was this dif- or was this birthday different to your other ones or yeah i mean it it was definitely different my first birthday without my father um mm. you know and you know i mean my outlook on change is is it's never too late it's to mm. change and it's never too late to kind of make a difference to your own life do you mm. get what i mean and i feel mm. that sometimes we put an emphasis on age, time, and exactly. oh, I'm gonna wait until this date before I do this. And, do you get what I mean? When mm. you can actually just do it now and just mm. be, 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 be focused about on mm. a, about it, you know. Mm. But I think everyone has to change at some point. Yeah, man. And yeah. don't be afraid. Don't yeah, be as afraid. well, because that's that's the thing. Is you mm. have to be very. It's like what Marv said on Big Up Marv as well. Big Up Big Bro. Mm. I remember one time he said, you know what, this road has been so lo- so lonely. Mm-hmm. It's like when you change, like sometimes people around you, they, they, won't, they won't, can't it's accept the change. Mm-hmm. So then you end up being like... Isolated. In, in, your, mm-hmm. in your own yeah, soul, because you're changing, yeah. innit? So, yeah. you know, it's a lonely place, but... Mm. Um, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. I think, I think elevation demands isolation. It, yeah, it does. It, it does. does. I mean, it does. Because it does. when you're going through those things, I feel like the reason why you got to be isolated is that you're highly receptive to the signs that you need to see. Mm. If mm. you're around other people, you're intaking all of their energies and different opinions and all those kind of stuff. And sometimes those things, are dis- they can distract you mm. from what you need to be seeing. Indeed. Sometimes you just need to be looking ahead, mm-hmm. focusing on you. You know what I mean? Listening no, to the higher, p- yeah. you know what I mean? And 100%. things like that. And you can easily get um, distracted when you're around too much people, especially if they're not on the same path as you. Yeah, indeed. Do you understand? Indeed. Then you've got that that tug and pull effect where you're going forward, then you're going back because you're going into back, you know. Yeah. Do you, do you know what I mean? Indeed. Because mm. company to me plays a big part. Oh, facts. You, even though I'm very, like, strong-minded, I don't follow people, mm. but energy is real. Like, show me your company and I can tell you who you are. Like, even if you don't want to accept it, I was speaking about this earlier, like, people say, oh, I'm not like that, but you hang, but there must be something within that person that intrigues you while you surround yourself mm. around that. Mm. Do you want us to, because some people live through Free other people, because people, yeah, they can't, they, they don't have that courage to do it themselves. Do you understand what I mean? Mm. Mm. So, yeah. Back to the subject of change, yeah? Mm. Like, because obviously I've noticed you've changed. You know of course. Saying? No, but I'm saying, see, with, with life, yeah? Sometimes circumstances make you change. Mm. Sometimes you make yourself change because you've reached a certain... Do you know what I'm saying? With me, it's like my, when I talk about my midlife crisis, like the age, yeah. like, right, man, it's getting a bit old now. Like, <laughs> so it's forcing man to think mm. different things. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Because man's realising, yo, mm-hmm. boom, big man thing now, you know? Man can't really do mm-hmm. up and down, up and down mm-hmm. again. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Or oh, I don't even want to be in these places because I'm not on what you're on. Not mm-hmm. even putting that down because mm-hmm. I'm... I was there, mm. so I know mm. it's fun, it's great, it's, you know, but yeah. that's not what I'm on. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to get somewhere else, and then I, I might come and join you. Mm. You get yeah. what I'm saying? But so I've noticed you're just like, um, what what like made you change? Like you know, because you're a bit more uh, before growth. I just think I've grown. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. More self-aware looked into myself do you know what I mean mm-hmm. I don't know maybe about, strengthened a bit more spiritually no, that's good. Okay. how about what no, no I was going to say to him how about him does, oh, he, feel, oh, oh. does he feel like he's changed oh definitely at any, yeah, yeah, at yeah. any was there any point yeah, yeah, in your yeah. life where you felt yeah because this is a change, like, yeah but, you know because I mean? when I was younger and come from where we come from everything was about money so I was like I need to be a millionaire before I'm 30 and mm-hmm. boom boom but then Money's not the be all and end all. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And where we're from, like that's that was our that's the that's the mentality. Mm. Money's everything. But mm. I think my change came when I when I got to a certain space and money couldn't even help me in that space. Mm. Does that make sense? So mm. I was quote unquote I, my nickname for myself is the broke millionaire. Mm. Mm. So at the time of that credit crunch and I was saying I had a million in property, but my tenants were paying the rents, but I couldn't sell the property to get a million pound. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So mm. I was learning how money really works. Mm. Do you get what I mean? And then I thought to myself, this is not making me happy. This is mm. not what's really... And then when I started to get back into the creative field and do what I, I loved, mm. and now I'm, I'm truly like living my dream and doing what mm. I, you know, so I changed my mentality to, to, to not care about money and all these types of things. Mm. You know, obviously you got to pay your bills and you got to earn a living, but... 
you know, when that's your, your driving force, sometimes it would it would just mash you up. Okay, so that, yeah. that caused you to change that crunch there. Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, so. Yeah, no, nah, man. Like, mm. change, change is, like, inevitable. Mm. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. You could change for the worse as well. Yeah. yeah come so on. you have to be careful. You know what I'm it. saying? Mm. You have to be careful, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Anything else on change? Yeah, no, I like oh, what you... Money is knackered, fam. <laughs> Don't crack me up. No, 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 I like what you just said. Um, you can change for the worst. Mm. Um, with me, I feel like um, when you're young, like when you don't know something, it's, e- it's, it's, e- it's easier. Mm. You know, like if you're just for the first time going through these things, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For me, once I was aware of what I was doing, mm. that's when the change came. Mm-hmm. Because now you're making a, a decision. Mm. You're, not, you're choosing to mm, do mm, this. Mm. You can either be like that or you can... Mm. Some people don't know, but once that thing clicks into your head and you know, like, come mm. on, you know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. You, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you get certain um, deaths as well can make you change, mm. think. Yeah, you know what I mean? indeed. Like, make you think, yeah, da 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 have a different perspective of stuff. With me... Obviously, the shit I went through and then coming out of it and then obviously you see how people move or whatever. Mm. And then you think, mm. oh, is it even worth it? And then just little things. And then you, obviously a big uh, change is when you have kids as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that, Come force, on. that forces you yeah. to change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kids, and when you get a girl. <laughs> the girls will yeah. calm you down yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you're tugs, a real tugs, tugs, tugs. Mm. Like, depending on what girl you get, because you got a girl that will hype you up, say, mm. yeah, and, send you, and send you prison fast. Yeah, quick quickly. and fast. Quick mm. and fast. You got <laughs> some, so, you got a girl that could calm you down, you got a girl that can send you to jail quick and fast. So, you have to be careful mm. who you pick as well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This thing. Yeah. Do you get All what I'm saying? types of relationships, friendships, partnerships. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, business partnerships, mm. all of those yeah. things have played a part into my change. Do you know what I mean? Like just mm. dealing with individuals, yeah. different <laughs> types of individuals, yeah. realizing that everyone's different. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That not all people have your best interests at heart. Indeed. Do you know what I mean? Indeed. Some people just come to get what they can get and then they're moving. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So my thing was I had to isolate and learn and pray for discernment mm. so that I can just feel them when they come around me instantly. Like, you know, mm. that's just business. They don't need to do, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Be too, do you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. you've got to protect no. your thing. Do you know what I mean? Also, yeah, I've got children, so... Mm. I think my movements have definitely changed nice. more. Nice, that's good. Because yeah, I was a bit more, definitely a bit more head hot headed in in the way I thought about stuff. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, man. I think I'm gonna leave it for Chucky or one of them to take on the subject and <laughs> go into it. We're gonna go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy. <laughs> You're a joker. It's easy. I'm one of them. You get what I'm saying? They might think change is a good subject to talk about. Mm. But I'm gonna go into, yeah, I'm going to go into the dilemma real quick. You get what I'm saying? But that was a great fight last night. Mm-hmm. Um, Dear RTM podcast show, mm-hmm. I've been with my girlfriend for three years now and she's heavily pregnant. <coughs> I'm fully in love with her and I want to ask her to marry me. Oh, easy. Mm-hmm. The problem yeah. is my mum doesn't like her and thinks she's bad for me, as mm. she was always out and I was always in before she got pregnant. She doesn't work, so I pay for all the bills, mm. which I'm happy to do, as I feel like that is a real man's role. My girl doesn't like my mum either, as my mum makes her feelings obvious. Have you got any advice for me to get them to at least be cordial? Please help. Big up spray and cream, big you up. And I'm really enjoying the content, so keep up the good work. Big you up, big you up. Big you up. Wow. Any help on, on that? Where do we start? Because it's a mad one still, it you It is, know? you know, because... Yeah, you know your mom and your girl, but... What I will know, what I do know is this, yeah? There's a... As I've gotten older, nothing's what my mum saw, she was right. Mm, mm, That's all I will mm, say. Not mm, saying that, but there's mm, a... And now, now I'm a mum, so I understand when you're looking over your... You can yeah, you would, take them, you would take the mum's angle. No, but real. it's the truth, mm. though. You can see things coming before they can. Mm. And, you know, like, she might see a little bit of signs. But with that being said, love is love, and, you know, she has to mm. kind of respect your relationship. You mm. get me? I remember mummy's on the outside, a, of it. She's on the outside, she's I was going to say. So, 
normally we don't always we always complain to our nearest so they kind of sometimes only hear the shit stuff do you know yeah. what I mean yeah so no, that's true you gotta you gotta look at it like that but yeah now understand his madness you need yeah. to pattern it like yeah you, he's gotta you fix it you yeah, yeah, gotta yeah. include yeah. them because you, you love stuff. your mum yeah. and yeah. you love the girl yeah, so you yeah. need to pattern and that's what you need to work on and he's got a kid with her he's yeah. got a kid he said she's mm. pregnant yeah. Yeah. Like that, so. that's what he needs to work on and so. I definitely just don't agree with disrespect to parents on both no, sides I'm no, old school like that yeah like, not at all if you can mend that relationship that would be good that's yeah. gonna be like your your child's Pause. grandparent you yeah. know what I mean and yeah. mums you know they're important so yeah I yeah. think the first thing to do is get on to mummy and just make her, yeah. you know what I mean? Tell her how much you yeah. care about and her, that she needs to see another side of her. And tell her, her you don't mind her going out, like, yeah. you know what I mean? She doesn't do any, you know one of them ones? Yeah. She's it's cool. And maybe she's changed. <laughs> and the, that's what I'm saying, the child might change her anyway. Yeah, it's true. Do you know what I mean? Like she ain't gonna be able to go out as much, I'll tell you that oh, much, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Oi, no one changes more than someone that's done it, done something, at, at, um, by access, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, they're they're ones there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When someone's lit, they mm. they do they normally have like the biggest changes anyway. Mm. Look, do you know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Always. <laughs> Being so, outside so you know long is I mean? cool. Like, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah it's, you have to allow people nothing to. Nothing you can show me that's outside that I don't know what's outside. And now look, it's all boring to you. Do you mm. get what I mean? I'm going there. It's boring. But there's rhythm though. I, mm. I don't. You know what I mean? I but still got that in me. But you're not to go. Like you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm definitely one of those people that I don't have that fear of missing out syndrome. I actually like, I used tweeted to be that. Bugged. Yeah. I used to I be don't. bugged if I miss something. I don't. Bugged. I used to be bugged <laughs> from it. Like, what? I'm yeah, just like and another yeah, it was a big day. Like, that. I'm but confirmed then again, I really that I'm safe that in my yard. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Mm. You know what like, I mean? Like, mm. that's how I look at it. Like, yeah. I know I'm going into tomorrow. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Da, 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 da. I can do mm. it again another day. Like, yeah. I don't think you should run it down. No. Because, yeah. Especially because of... I just look at, you see those type of environments, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most of the shit that goes on in our culture happens mm -hmm. in those type of environments. Oh, that's true. Facts. Because of the time of night and mm -hmm. the multiple demonic energies that are pumping around. Mm -hmm. On a day-to-day -day basis, if someone steps on your shoe, you don't want to kill them. Mm -hmm. But yeah. in those environments, everybody's anger's heightened and everything is heightened and just, just loads of fucked up shit. So, because of what I've seen... Yeah, energy's floating Yeah, around. because of what I've seen... I just can do with missing a day of, of the rate, like of the, of the thing, like you know what Some I mean. Like, can't. do you get what I mean? I can do without it. Mm. Right, no, just pattern that, man. You need to pattern that. Yeah. Because um, the thing about it is that your girl's your girl as well, and that's it. Like you're not you're not like that, but it's it's your girl's it's your girl's crutches what you're dealing with, and at the end of the day, crutches go for a lot. Like you, that's your, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, what you gonna, you're gonna turn into an insult because your mum's going mad. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, you, you, do you need to pattern your mum yeah, and make yeah, your mum know? Look, yeah, mom, I think the mum you the need mom to has to be the first one. At, the, at the same time, it's your it's mother. Yes, yeah, your mum. So you yeah. have to make. You so have she reckons you should talk to the mum. Yeah, that's to begin with because the girl, you're supposed to be able to pattern, pattern the girl. your mum. Yeah, because remember, your the girl, girl, yeah. you're saying the girl don't like your mum because your mum makes it obvious. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's not because she doesn't like your mum for any reason other than your mum makes it obvious that she doesn't like her. So if you pattern your mum to now. Act like she Act likes her, or then, then, yeah, then it's exactly. Because pattern, no yeah. girlfriend I mean. really ever goes into a relationship not liking the mum for yeah, no reason. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you normally I mean? like the mum, that's who gave mm -hmm. you the son. Do you yeah. understand what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It's normally from the energy what boys' mums give mm -hmm. to the girls. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of boys' mums do that. Mm. I don't know what that thing is. It's like they're so protective over their sons. It's, you know, you've got mm. to kind of go through a little obstacle course. To prove yourself if you're worthy of their, mm, of their yeah. son do you know what i mean no, it's true it's true you know you know but yeah i think the mum being the mum being that the mum is the older mm -hmm. in, in this situation yeah. he needs to have a heart tight of his mum definitely and then get his mum to sit down and just try to resolve things because at the end of the day when we look at some sort of con some conflicts mm. nothing really matters once you just mm. say sorry and keep it moving and yeah. do you know what i mean nothing you know, everything can be resolved. If you don't, you don't know? ignore it. You're, mm. you're right to even mm. ask for advice. If you don't do it, cause mm -hmm. yeah, mm. it, 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 and if it. your mum ends up saying, "I told you so, son," then that's just what it. That's, that's just, just what, what it is. is. Do you get what I'm saying? Live you and you learn. Yeah, do you know mm. what I mean? Do you get me? But you uh, are bringing a blessing into the world anyway. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So try and make the best of it. Yeah, Indeed. Like, you need to um, suit that up, mate. But yeah, every episode we mm -hmm. give them a book to go and read. Yeah, okay. this one is a special book today. I got um, my, my um, liquor brother from Manchester. Mm -hmm. He wrote a book and he's a That's old school bad boy as well, mm -hmm. but not 
um, Jason Warren, General, my my dog, but mm-hmm. yeah, boom. Tarek's Dust of Desire. Mm-hmm. Jason, well, well done, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well yeah, done. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's, yeah. well done. That's why I thought I'm gonna, yeah, mm-hmm. come saying to him, right, Jenna, I know him. he's active, he's, he's extremely active. He was even active recently, and I told him, calm down, little brother, allow that. Mm-hmm. But it, it is what it is. He's just some, they're, they're mad, they're mental up there. But, um, so I was proud of him for this. Mm. Yeah. It's really you get what I'm trying to say? He's been yeah. in jail, he's done all of that, but he's so articulate and he's good with words and all that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. It's good, man. So when he told me he's um, got a book, Obviously, mm. it's not rocket science. I'm gonna use it mm-hmm. on an episode to promote it. But yeah, Tarek's t- Dust of Desire. Mm-hmm. I haven't even read it yet. I'm gonna read it. I wanna no, read it, it only just, um, <laughs> as well, yeah. I only just got it posted. I got it posted here. But yeah, when thrust forward almost a century and a half on, subsequent to being fragmented from his tribe, tracked down by tenacious bandits, and then tragically meeting his demise, along with his parents, Tarek is in a dimension of bewilderment when he finds out that he has in fact been reincarnated and time travelled to a contemporary Phoenix, Arizona, and now possesses more magic in his little blowpipe than he could have dreamt of. However, he comes to the realisation that modern day society is just as challenging as the mid 19th century and obstacles are put in front of the misplaced Apache almost Im- imminently. Jaden Adams can arguably be the bad influence on Tarek as he befriends the time-leaping native. Nonetheless, Jaden suggests his new buddy to join his school, and so Tarek proceeds on his conquest of new age education. But that's when things take a chilled turn as Sunview's vice principal is not to be trifled with. Oh, it's a fiction book. Mm. Yeah. You, That's what fiction you, is. Using the, the, all yeah. even long words, but big you up, though, mm. general. Yeah. Imagination. Big, yeah. big achievement. Yeah, yeah. Big achievement. Big. interesting, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Waterstones. Yeah. Now, big you up, man. Wow. Whoa, you signed gonna... it. One more clap. Oh. Watch it. <laughs> mm. Is it? Yeah. No, that's no, big, that's bro. Big. That's big. Yeah. Hope you enjoy. Mm-hmm. Love, little bro. No. Big up to you, man. Mm. Yeah. Proud of you. Proud of you. Make sure you don't go cock that. Mm-hmm. Definitely, Tarek's man. Dust of Desire. You get me free capo as well, because capo's look a soldier still. You get me, but... Love that. Um, mm-hmm. I'll let you know what I think of that. And couldn't oh, not bruh. bless you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, you get what I'm saying? I couldn't not bless you, Thank you. with mm-hmm. the RTM. Nah, I appreciate it. Yeah, you get what I'm trying nah, to say? I appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Thank Talk to you, yeah. you know, and um, no, I appreciate I'm gonna it. be oh, talking to you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it was refreshing. I just yeah. wish, mm-hmm. I wish I was more, yeah, but yeah. it was very refreshing. Nice, no, and um, I appreciate yeah. you, bro. No, man. thank you yes. so much. I think I appreciate the hood you. appreciates you, the hood yeah. appreciates you. Thank you, and, um, yeah, no. follow the queen. Mm-hmm. Screen the poster girl on Instagram, poster girl lashes, queen ice cream TV on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Follow me at big underscore bad underscore spray mm-hmm. on Instagram at young underscore spray on Twitter. Follow my little brother at official underscore cause mm-hmm. as well. Yes, he come sir. With me today. Is it big up cause. Big up cause. <laughs> come on. Make sure you follow him as well. The artist, um, Joe. Well, he's not under 80 no more, but yeah. <laughs> Check out his thing. You get me the under 80 Bath thing on Black down. Box as well. Mm-hmm. Official underscore cause, RTM Records, Protégé. Make sure you follow that up. Follow my, actually, follow the page, um, RTM Podcast Show, at RTM Podcast Show. Follow the clothing at RTM Clothing Original, www.readathemod.com mm-hmm. to get the uh, merch. And, yeah. Follow my brother, yeah, Franklin. Franklin Boat and King of Trainers. You can just Google me. You'll see so much stuff mm. about me, man. 
you know. So. Website? Yeah, um, franklinboating.com. So my surname is B O A T E N G. So it's Franklin with an I. We all know how to spell Boateng, mate. Yeah. They've been about for a bit. You know, we know how it's spelled, mate. You know what I mean? I know we might be couples over here. We might be fucking couples over here. We know how to spell all of that. You know how to spell all of that. Making sure they get it right. You know how to spell all of that, bollocks, mate. You know what I mean? Now, thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Good show, man. Good show, man. Thank you, man. Thanks. Boom.